everyone, we are back once more for Shadowrun. I am Talsar Gildan, and welcome back. So, uh, yeah, it's been a little hectic with our schedules, but we are back again. So, um, let's get to it, shall we? I don't have a whole lot planned for today, so we're just going to mostly wing it, see where, uh, see where things take us. I do have an encounter plan, but, like I said, we're just going to... I'm gonna do a free form session, see how it goes. A little experiment. So let's let's get to it, shall we? Linus. The wizard because he's the fucking wizard. And Linus because I feel very bad for him. Oh, there's a fucking wizard. Alright, well, I'm always back. My favorite Everybody part wants magic on their side. Welcome back. I'm working on maxing out the wizard right now. I'm getting pretty close. Do you believe in magic? Shut up, of course he's you nerd. Anywho, but, uh, my deal with the wizard is apparently he likes the monster loot items, and I always have too many of those, so. Oh, well, I, his favorite are the, um, the void and solar essences and purple mushrooms. Yeah, I have a lot. Of, I gave him, like... I bet he likes the mushrooms. <laughs> I have a lot of Oh, lots of my. Void and solar, so, it's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy for me. Okay, so, um... Last last session, you guys uh, helped out OCP with uh, rooting out uh, the, uh, the the um, the the <clears throat> sorry the union. Colt, oh. we helped Smith out of Colt. Yeah, you uh, gathered enough evidence to um, for them to act on. So over a couple of days went by and. Your, uh, you know, your painting attention to the news feed, and there is a report that uh, taken on site that, that says this morning OCP launched a massive raid onto an abandoned university building in the outskirts of the city. In conjunction, they uh, did so with the with the uh, Detroit Police Department in conjunction with OCP Special Task Force Division. They. Uh, they launched this raid using four of their brand new ED-209 units, heavy urban combat units, and uh, with the Detroit Police Department's brand new Robocop leading the charge. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that just makes me laugh every time you do this. Robo- uh, Yeah. Fire lit up the night sky as... There's head as the uh, Detroit Police Department met with heavy resistance from inside. However, within mere few hours, the Union was pacified. O OCP was able to act on this after obtaining sufficient evidence to do so of, re of illicit activities perpetrated by the Union cult. These include kidnapping, murder, and theft of high-tech devices. Many of also, the... running a stampede through the Vatican. What? No. no uh, he looks through the list of charges like, that's not listed here. Wait a second here. You can hear me? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> the fourth wall! Television is cool. Anyway. It's interactive uh, these days. <laughs> how, uh, the investigators, upon entering the scene, found the grisly site. Apparently... Most of the members of the Union were not volunteers. They were kidnapped and forcibly altered using cybernetics. They were all part of, a, of apparently a hive mind as well. And once the source of this hive mind was destroyed, everyone, uh, everyone connected to it went comatose until the uh, cyberware connecting them to it was extracted and deactivated. Those who survived tell grisly, grisly stories of their time in captivity. They apparently also had a uh, incinerator in the basement which they used to uh, dispose of all organic components. However... We made the right decision on not getting into that. However... Yep, seriously. That good call, guys. However, apparently the so-called high priest that the survivors mentioned was, had, was not found at the scene so it, it could be that there were individuals who escaped, as they did end up finding a series of secret tunnels beneath the complex. 
We will continue to follow the story as it develops. Oh. We did a good thing. I invite your sound a little quiet again. That's because my microphone was at my chest. Ah. Yeah, that's yeah, not where you have now. Game Game Master's note, if you guys had decided to go in there, I would not have thrown everything at you. Because Why would we go in? It wasn't part of our payment arrangement. Well, maybe you wanted some extra credit. I don't know. Maybe you felt like doing a good deed. Why? I don't know. The uh, guy that we set the deal up with had offered a bonus if we cleared it out. But hadn't specified how much, and frankly... Bonus, didn't give an actual number, and we got a bonus anyways. Yeah, and once we saw the f the type of firepower they had, that's not something we're geared up to deal with. I'll totally deal with that once I have a fully suited fucking attack helicopter. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, if we had, like, a missile platform to, like, you know, rain hellfire down, maybe... I mean, if they're using four heavy-duty walkers as part of their uh, invasion force, I'm quite fine with well, having not done it ourselves. Well, then again, you, hey, you, have, you hey, have to keep in mind whether or not they did that as a show of force. Maybe they weren't all necessary. They just wanted to, you know... If we get a missile platform, can we call it Rex? Sure. I would insist. <laughs> What? Yes, that is a Metal Gear joke. <laughs> Why not Ray? I knew it was going to be. I know. I'm, be because I know where Rex, you go. Yeah. Metal Gear Rex is cooler. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, that is pretty much that in terms of news. So you guys have just been uh, relaxing a little bit. Um... Is there anything you guys would like to do? Uh, well, some of us have formed our own, um, our own, um, uh, <laughs> magical group. And by some of us mean you, right? <laughs> Not just me, no. He doesn't mean me. He uh, doesn't mean me. <laughs> Tom's not here, uh, <coughs> but... oh. Tom's involved, Sylvia's involved, and my other Sylvia's character, magic. Anton. I'm not involved, so. then. Wait, Anton's still around? Yeah. He You're in his house. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm getting your characters mixed up. Wait, what? That's okay. I... Well, okay, the character he's playing right now is Roman. Anton was oh, his yeah, okay, other yeah. character. Who's house you're chilling in? Anton had to take a break for a while because some shit went down. Wait, have we just been, we haven't like we all have our own houses? Why are we camping out of here? Wait, what? Because my house is like crazy fortified now. It's got a super high uh, magical so barrier. Plus, uh, Sylvia's character decked it out with a whole bunch of extra protections and. Crap. Okay, so we are just straight. Wait, okay. Uh, I'll, we'll talk about this later. Is our base of operations effectively? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> and yeah, anybody else who uh, is able to use magic in some form or other is welcome to join the group. I, I, I'm magical when it comes to maintaining my drones. <clears throat> the way you dance is magical. <laughs> So what exactly does your little <laughs> circle of friends do? Uh, it's a magical group. Uh, we re research magical crap. We practice things. We, you know, it's like having the chess club. You go and do chess-related things. You do magical-related things. In practice, it makes the karma cost of uh, doing the thing cheaper. You know, um, submersion? No, that's Technomancers. What do you do? 
initiation? Uh, yeah, yeah, it can it can lower the cost of initiation and crap. Well, just, just yeah. as long as you guys and, don't, uh, don't not make, buy. And it makes don't the original magic easier. Just as long as you guys don't do anything that will result in your house going up in a green fireball. With a that with, would probably be bad. So with, yeah, with, with an elder god coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm okay with that as long as I'm the elder god. Yeah, right. I have ascended to my final form. Then a dragon comes and eats you. Wait, no, I've got one more 1099 left. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyone got anything they want to do this game? Personal agendas they wish to fill? Uh, uh, Roman uh, is looking forward to the kickoff of the... Um, uh, of the uh, regionals for his game, Miracle yes. Shooter. Fucking nerd. Regionals. <laughs> He's in Go regionals. Yeah. It's a competitive it. game. Our best on you. He might not be great, but he's really good at uh, leading his team. This is some sort so, of. So, so Roman, uh, <laughs> there's large bets on you, and go break the legs via competitors. Gotcha. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Roman wants to win honestly. If you cheat at the game, there's no reason to play. Okay. Some people say the opposite of that, but... Fair <laughs> <laughs> and love and war. Yeah, but those are the people who see why Roman is called the small death. <laughs> is that what that means? I thought it was tiny death. <laughs> Something like that. Remember, I lost my original portfolio, so I had to recreate. Right. Which is, oh, God. I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> I totally He's experienced a traumatic yeah. flashback. <laughs> when my power supply died, I lost a whole bunch of files, but... Yeah. Oh, and I did upgrade my computer to Windows 10, finally. Right. You like the advertisement? Not your in-game character, I hope. Uh, what was that, Sylvia? You like the uh, in fucking sweet advertisements that it shoots at you? No. I mean, you in the start menu that I never go to? Wouldn't that kind of just pop up and be like, "Do you want to try Office 360 today?" No, it doesn't, it doesn't do that give me that because I have I Office 360. Yeah, it doesn't do that to me either because I own one of the Office products. Oh, I don't uh, own any Office. Yeah, I've never I don't own any Office. office. I don't follow an office, but it doesn't do that to me either. But um, what I do get, uh, what I do like from it is that it boots up a lot faster, like a lot faster yeah, than Windows does. 7 did, and it shuts down faster when it's not updating. Um, I dislike the way the start menu is. I don't want my start menu search to look on the internet for shit, but it does. Oh, uh, you can choose. It, you can pick it to choose in your files. But yeah, I don't like the fact that yeah. it defaults to internet stuff yeah. first. I'm like, shut up, Cortana. Yeah. I'm slowly cust. Oh yeah, I didn't even activate Cortana. No, I haven't either. Yeah. There's haven't a way to turn off the internet. Cortana, internet part. But I turned it back off. Oh. Yeah, same but here. Because my computer's on most of the time, and my microphone can often catch uh -huh. me. Uh and, and every once in a while, Cortana says, "I didn't understand what you said, but I think you said." Do you want to know about Mexican bordellos? <laughs> no, I was just watching TV. <laughs> Tim, is there uh, something you'd like to... Um, Tim, thank you. That? that was fucking hilarious. It, it really, it's uh, ridiculous. Uh, Tim, is there anything you'd like to uh, talk to us about? No, honest Apparently to God, like that's how... I, honest, I honestly mean that's how off-topic <laughs> Cortana can be. You see, that's why I unplug uh, my microphone when I'm not using it. I, I, oh, mean, I have a laptop. Microphone's always on. Uh -huh. I mean, Tim, if you're into, you know, Mexican bordellos, I should warn you there are, you know, very... Everybody, let the joke die. Yeah. Just let yeah. it die. I am not into any sort let of it, bordellos. Let it die. That, no nationality yeah. of bordello appeals to me. <laughs> hmm. uh, <laughs> let's get a job. Mm -hmm. I want to work for Vegas. Uh, I want to be a dancer. 
<laughs> you know, one of the dancers with those big feathery fan things. You mm-hmm. have the legs for it? Oh, boy, do I. I don't know how I always picture Oh, boy, you. do I ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dancer. Look at my gams. <laughs> gams. Uh, I, love that word. So I know a girl. Yeah, I like that word too. Green <laughs> <camp. laughs> Okay, so has anybody else got stuff they're doing? In nah. The- no, yeah, not I really. Do my normal stuff to maintain Honestly, I, 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 I didn't like really. Yeah, I, I can't ever really think of what I would do outside of digging around with you guys. I don't know. <laughs> Get drunk, be sad. Who knows? I'd yeah, buy I, some I, stock, I, invest, maybe start your own corp. I'm. I, I wouldn't want to start a corp. That sounds awful. Doesn't you can set up offices and just sit in there and wait for other corps to come try to kill you? Right. Sounds like fun. Yes, because the stealth specialist <laughs> wants that. Totally well, yeah, you can like be stealthing in like this room with all these hidden passageways and doors and false walls and stuff and just be like stabbing out of nowhere and killing them as they come in. If I do that, my rule is that there's no windows on the building. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Because mm, fuck windows. Ha ha ha, I get it. I'm just trying to figure Still out. Still mad about I the mean... window thing, Roman. <laughs> what window thing? I don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about, motherfucker. I know nothing. <clears throat> I know nothing. Absolutely nothing that I will admit to is pertinent to this situation. House arranged weapons. I have arranged weapons. What are you talking about? <sighs> Use them. You told me to punch the window, motherfucker. Shut up. It was funny. <laughs> Can't argue that. You time. made me like break my cardinal like rule of like stealth, stealth. I'm gonna punch a window. <laughs> That's stealthy. Stealthy well, as fuck. Well, don't worry. You're not the only one who's all broken up over it. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where's the plot hook, Brett? It's like a movie that's so bad that you like it. <laughs> I like that. Where's the plot hook? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, Brett. So, okay. Well, um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to find a reason why you guys would be in this area. What area is it? What's the area? Well, I'll go and reveal it. After 10,000 years, Elizabeth Banks looks nothing like Rita Repulsa. <laughs> After 10,000 years, I have a lot of back taxes to pay. <laughs> <laughs> so what map are we supposed to be looking at? Street map. Street map. What's that? Oh, you know what would be really fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we should all like... Uh, <clears throat> dress up in in superhero costumes from like the the year two thousand and go roaming the streets. <laughs> I'll be Mister Terrific, despite somebody the fact can, I'm not black. Somebody can come up and try to rob us, and then we'll blow them into like thirty pieces. <laughs> so we're dressing up as the Watchmen, right? I don't care. We can dress up it, as the Watchmen. It's a joke because they're edgy. Are they? Is that edgy? I haven't heard about them for a while. Who watches the Watchmen? Probably whoever manufactures the pieces to their watches. Holy fuck, the street is giant. Cutter's Bar and Grill, essential screen printing. This looks like Google Maps. It is Google Maps. You're very observant. Holy crap, Division in Orleans? There's a Division Street in my city, too. Maybe we should stop with all this Division and... There's actually a Division Start Street in to my town, too, but I, Oh, I, I, oh, crap. I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> Why are people so interested in in, in dividing the, the these cities up? We don't want division. We want unification. That's why when I'm elected, I will. I promise you, Division Street will be no more. It shall be unification a straight. Focus. That sounds like a great platform. Oh, I, I <laughs> wish I had seen that earlier. Place. Oh, man, I need to see what that building is. Hold on. Unfortunately, you have to practice double jumping in order to get past the street to the next level. And then you have to learn how to do half presses and jump jump pews. 
Uh, that sounds Anyone like else see that video? That was a fucking funny video. I did not. <laughs> <clears throat> it's basically explaining how they just fucking destroy Mario 64. It's hilarious. But hey, that's a way we could, uh, <laughs> that's a really terrible reason why we could be walking around downtown. <laughs> <laughs> this street name is stupid. <laughs> like it's like it's been a while. We haven't had any action. We're kind of bored, so we just go trolling for people. <laughs> We're going to the convenience store to get beer. Actually, that uh, cu that Cutters Bar and Grill looks looks like it'd be a pretty nice place. Yeah, to... but that would be so oh. frell and expensive. It's got four. It's got four. It's, it's got four stars. <laughs> it's a grill. That means real food. That means expensive. I'm pretty Nutri sure you can't grill Nutrisoy and come up with something not disgusting. Uh, Jimmy's Holy Meats isn't there anymore. That's boarded up. No. Oh. Yeah, with, with all these place. references to meat, this looks like it would be a high-end area. <laughs> I guess those were <laughs> days long past. How however, there's one building here that I didn't notice before that really kind of has me interested in what I could probably do with this now. <sighs> Is that the one where you're gonna put in a, a cult of uh, of demon worshippers from the uh, uh, oh I hate it when my brain shuts down in the middle of the thought it's the worst <laughs> thing ever it happens to be like almost every day at least more <laughs> like once at least uh, okay so a group of of demon worshippers transported from the universe of the Dragonborn and Tamriel. <laughs> Daedra? <laughs> Fusroda? <laughs> hmm, I wonder... I wonder how well our weapons would do against the Dragonborn. Probably, Probably pretty well. Yeah, I mean, you because know. he's human. Or whatever race you want him to be. He's mortal. What? Well, in... in the game... Uh, in the game, you know, his shots are on cooldown and they don't have a whole shit ton of effect. But in the lore, his shouts aren't on cooldown, and uh, they can literally tear a mountain into pieces. <sighs> Which would be interesting, but I think um, altogether uncomfortable. Anyway, so, uh, I mean... Why are we know, here, Brett? Well, if you guys want to be here, you can be here. Okay, so we need to be here for the story. <laughs> So, my excuse for us to be here is that we're dressed up as superheroes from way back from the year 2000. And we're my excuse is that we're going to the convenience store to get beer. I'm with that excuse. I'm, I'm getting... I'm stocking up on food. Oh, that's even better. So we all go down to get beer, and I'm the only one dressed up because I thought we were going to troll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you dressed up as your character from the video game? I have a character from a video game? Yeah, well, because you're the uh, guild guy in that game. Like Judas. the thing your character's like super obsessed about? Oh no, that's not what that kind of game is. That game's like a first person shooter. It's like uh, Call of Duty and shit. It's like You change that game every single time I talk to you. No, the <laughs> no, name of the game, no, that's actually what it is. The name of the game is called Miracle Shooter. Basically, I'm a magic user who's playing as a um, kick-ass marshal character in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike your real life where you're a martial character playing you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my character is obsessed with augmenting his abilities magically to make him more martially kick-ass because uh, in his natural state he is like as terrible as it comes. He's no agility no dexterity, he's weak as not, and so <laughs> his whole thing is trying to make himself closer to this uh, uh, kick-ass, open-the-door type of martial person. That's one of the reasons why he loves the game so much. He wants to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he can shred you with his mind, but he doesn't want to do that. He wants to shred <laughs> you with his hands. <laughs> um, so, so in other words, he wants to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he has the, the body of uh, Warwick Davis. I don't know who that is. Ow. But I don't know who that Ow. is. Well, no, he's a pixie, so kind of. It's smaller than that, yeah. Oh, oh, Brad, Brad, Brad. So, I'm picturing in your head an average pixie, right? Yeah, I am. 
Now, adjust that pixie so that, in your mind, that pixie looks weak and malnourished. So, a normal pixie, gotcha. No, no, no. Weak and malnourished for a pixie. I can't imagine that type of... Uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that. That's basically Anton in his normal form. But slap on some magic, some focuses, and some spells, and he transforms into a relatively buffed out human. Ooh, you've noticed. The problem is, is that all for show? No, actually. he His stats change along with that while he's magically transformed. Mm -hmm. I mean, his normal stats, he's got a body of two, an agility of three, a reaction of three, and a strength of one. Wow. Augmented, those uh, stats are eights. In human form, they're eight. Uh, to be I have a strength of one, too, but that's just a strength of one. Body of one. It doesn't serve a lot of purpose for a, a caster. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes him a little harder to kill, but it's yeah. not like it boosts the damage of his spells or anything. So, okay, I think my so guys anyways, so easy. So, if you guys would like to, uh, uh, pardon me. Drop your tokens somewhere around here. By Greenbrier Foods. All right, let me jump over to Token Town. Did I do that? I'm so tiny. Well, it has to be to scale. I'm so tiny on this map. Yeah, I can't find myself. I... Have you tried Zen Meditation? No. <laughs> no, no, have you no. Try no. the Mexican bordello. Meditating <laughs> right use now. Use Zen meditation to center yourself. That's very different. Uh, well, you center yourself, but it can also help you find enlightenment. And you can't get to enlightenment unless you find yourself. <sighs> Hi, Jackie. Of course, a Google search could do that too. <laughs> I Google. I Google myself all the time. Where am I? That's not what that no. word means. <laughs> <laughs> I know that joke. Shut up. <laughs> What the hell is going on around me right now? I don't know. <laughs> Even we don't know. Uh, okay, so... I have to watch uh, uh, 30 Rock at some point. Okay, so you guys are just kind of wandering down the street, going to... Beer! Beer! <laughs> yeah, all drunk, <laughs> stumbling about... No, 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 we haven't got the beer yet. We're leaving oh. to get the beer. I, I was drunk. I didn't Go, going on a, on a yeah. beer run... Uh, <laughs> Roman is dressed as Roman, or however Roman likes to be dressed. Did we walk here? Are we back? I'm doing a feed evil. Why is anyone else dressed up? Tell me you're not dressed up as Colossus. You are, aren't you? <laughs> oh my god, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Who watches the watchmaker? I need to be in person with you. There we go. You'll be right back, Juan.
Welcome back. Ryan and fuck? Roman have, have taxed Nick Nick to the point where he's just like, um Yeah. Yeah. How old I am? Oh, I'm 25. Okay. <laughs> Ain't that old? And I'm going to open the door. Open what door? Oh, the door to Greenbrier Foods. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. You've triggered the trap card! <laughs> <laughs> I summon Night Owl in attack mode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad it's oh. Night Owl and he didn't go as Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Roman hasn't quite figured out how to shape all those parts yet. <laughs> Man, that movie was weird. Yeah. Uh, oh man, if you thought the movie was weird in the comics, like the, the... comic was amazing. The, the giant psychic squid? Yeah, that was great. Giant psychic squid would have been better than the... Whatever the... Squid, I, I, I wanted to see that psychic squid I in fucking... <clears throat> full screen next to Dr. Manhattan's dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that invites a comparison that I think Dr. Manhattan would want to avoid. Well, considering <laughs> he's just a ball of... Energy. I don't think he gives a fuck. That does seem to be his general problem, yeah. Uh, like that was it. Wasn't that his character arc? He just didn't give a fuck. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, when you can see the past, present, and future all at the same time, I think he got kind of bored because he always knew it was going to happen, and he just kind of stopped caring. Yeah. Then Ozzy Man, uh, Ozzy Mo, um, Ozzy Mendez, Ozzy Mendez, uh, well. Took over the world. Well, he united the world, and that was actually his goal. But anyway, watch, watch, anyway, this game. <laughs> this game. Hi, right, Brett. Yes. So, I'm assuming there's a hook in here. There's a hook around here, yes. It's, 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 it's coming. The hook is coming. Are we going to get a fucking, like, oh, God, is, are we going to get, like, a freaking drive-by? Uh, is this, I like... I, is this like winter? Are we going to be like, oh god, we're not going to face a dragon now, are we? Yeah. I've heard they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, so, um, you go in there and get your beer and snacks and whatever else you wanted. 
I'm doing a freaking grocery run. Alright. Whole yeah, thing has cost me... Yeah. Oh, let's say... All your money? No. Let's, let's toss one steak in there. Then it'll be all your money. <laughs> yeah, let's... That's gonna be about, um... Like an 500... actual steak or one of those weird soy... Steaks? An actual steak. Actually, this place probably doesn't carry real steaks. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm gonna say that this is gonna be 500 million worth of groceries. I'm stocking up. That's that's a, a lot of money. Amount. I'm I just I just came for beer. <laughs> what people Roland, what's your answer? For what? I, I asked you. Yeah, hey, you get to see mm. Zohar dressed up. Yeah, yeah. Asked me about steaks, and I was all like, they don't probably even cover No, no, steaks. no. Zohar asked uh, uh, Romans like, okay, how about this? You buy me a really good beer, and I'll dress up like the Silk Spectre. Deal. <laughs> Seems like a good deal. I think, yeah, think five hundred uh, new yen worth of groceries will do me over for a couple months. Yeah. Yeah, I bet food doesn't really go bad, does it? Right. Well, it's all soy, so it's not good that's, to that's begin why I was saying that. And considering that I usually spend between forty and fifty a week. Yeah, well, that'll do. I buy food for me and Tom, so I end up spending like a lot a week. Well, <sighs> I shop at the save a lot, so it's cheaper. And I put all my, my groceries in the back of the van. <laughs> oh, did you bring? Did we bring a van, or are we just like walking around? Uh, I have my. Van. I always have my van with me. Yeah. Okay. My, my <laughs> van travels. All right. As you guys are loading up, you hear. A lot of shouting and shooting coming from down uh, Orleans Street this way. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> Here's a real question. Do any of us actually care? Yeah, into the armored van. Oh, wait a second here. I forgot. I in the sky is always up a up ahead. <clears throat> How do you monitor that thing if you're just walking around the street? AR. I have image link. Okay. Yeah. No, I I forgot. Damn it! I forgot. This is the the Google Maps. This like <laughs> shit. Like fucking thing just made me think that this was like an actual like real world shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do you just like carry a laptop with you? I don't understand. And like, no, wait, this is <laughs> It's this not is... real. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of technological bullshit. I have a fucking like mm. electric hand. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Iron Okay, so Nick, what you see is um <clears throat> you see six individuals chasing after another individual further down the street. <laughs> and they're and they're running your way. <clears throat> I think Roman can see them. They are, um, yeah. Roman can see them from from the corner. They, um, the guy in the front keeps turning and shooting uh, back at them. They're firing their weapons at him. It looks like he's been wounded. You know, the, the guy the guys back here are all shouting. You know, like slag that fucker. And, you ain't getting away from us. <clears throat> so the group that's chasing after him, do they have any particular the identifying marks or tattoos? No. Nothing to identify? No. If they're a part of an organization or something? No. Hmm. Oh, I happened to my van. Alright. So yeah, I'm definitely in my van already. Yeah. My van is, um... Um, this van. I'm just standing on the street corner. I know. All right, I so. must have walked yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the street mage sees Roman and is seeing in the middle of the street in his very <clears throat> elaborate costume and starts running towards him. <laughs> I, uh, seeing that, I start coming towards Roman. Like, oh, fuck. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll uh, put my van up behind him. And the, the, the other guys behind him go, go, shit, that must be his contact. Slag him. 
Oh, wow. Really? Uh. Oh, man. Okay, seriously, McCaffrey, I am not buying you. Stop <laughs> asking me to What's that clapping noise? Not me. Probably my side. Let me know if it goes away. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that your dryer? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> your dryer sounds almost as shitty as ours does. All right. Ah, clearly, the sound quality could be better then. Yeah. Well, you buy a better microphone, it'll sound better. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's get an initiative sorted out here. Uh, I, don't, I don't need the van in this initiative. Hey, the van is a contributing part of this party. Mm. I'm kidding. But... The van also very notably runs off a different initiative than here does. <laughs> I forgot what my initiative is. Oh, it's a 12. We're actually gonna have to open a menu this time, goddammit. That's how I feel whenever I go to a new place to eat. Hey, I got an 18 initiative. Oh, are we actually rolling initiative? Yes, Oops. you are. Oh. My bad. I have an the initiative order. Um... <laughs> your, your van plays the Final Fantasy... 7 battle music? Nine's yeah, that's the horn. Uh, oh. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> oh, nice. Good job. It's the costume. No wonder he got his ass kicked so much. <laughs> Yeah. I can't believe that. Thirteen dice, one hit. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's like yeah, you should awesome. be given something just for doing so bad. I'm my band to the end Oh, by the way, on top of my roof is uh, Iron uh, Sky King and Fireflight. On top of your roof? Yeah. You have the uh, launching things up there. Yep. It's kind of conspicuous. I know. <laughs> yeah, <a> little. <laughs> Driving around with a couple drones on the top of your van, <laughs> hoping nobody steals them. <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna steal drones. Those things are it's fucking it's expensive. I, I drove by a van and I saw drones on top of it. I'd be like, you know, this seems like an easy way to make ten grand. Yeah, I gotta admit, I would be tempted to steal them myself. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta be stored somewhere. Yeah, they're supposed to be stored inside the van in racks. Actually, I have a multi-launcher. Wait a minute, is that the right guy? Hold on. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. <laughs> oh no, oh no, that's the wrong guy. This is what I want right here. Okay, okay, this guy. Let me re-roll that. Across my looks like there's either a fire or a car accident across the street from me, but either way, there are people there dealing with it noisily. Oh, did I mention my neighbor died? 
No. Yeah, my neighbor died. Okay. I'm sorry, man. I, I, home. I didn't too. actually know him, but um, here's the funky part. He was discovered two days after he died. Oh, that sucks. He was re- he was rent- he was renting a room uh, next door in a house, and apparently he died on Friday. They discovered the body on Sunday. Oh, he's so smelly. And the uh, authorities arrived. While me and my sister were out um, uh, getting sushi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shortly that body doesn't go good in sushi. Currently in. <laughs> yeah. A, uh, elderly woman died in her room, and the building manager found her estimated a week and a half after when he went to go see why she hadn't paid rent. Oh, God. Estimated a week and a half after death. By the way, have they established a cause of death for China yet? Yes. Yeah. Drugs. Uh, figures. We all knew that. Yeah. Yeah, add my van to the initiative list. Add, add your van? Yeah, but I'm going to defend this to me. Right, oh, Remember, she likes to run people over with it. <laughs> oh yeah, this should be fun. Hey, I totally, totally, actually have it loaded up with non-lethal ammo and stuff. Oh and yeah, done. that gives me. Well, we still have a question here. Do we even want to get involved with this fight? I think you got us. I don't involved. know, but I still want to be want to have my van on the bed just in case. Well, I mean, we can just like walk right. away. All right, your van's added. No, I think they literally just said, "Yo, those are his contacts. Fucking kill him." Yeah, but if we go first, we you can just walk like, away. You just be like, no, not us. Don't know what you're just talking about. Go around the corner away from him and not even worry about it. Okay, so what? Okay, um, trying to see here. Uh, Nick, what is your agility score? My agility score? Yes, your agility score. One. Seven. Seven. Why is your agility so high? Damn. Um. I've got augments. Damn. Let's get you a gun just for the odd time you actually have to use it. That's useful. I I've <laughs> got an eleven. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I have a thirteen with my handgun. <gasps> That's pretty uh, fucking. Okay, they they match you in that. What about uh, intuition? Uh, four. Four. Okay, so he'll beat you in that. Now, let's look at the second guy he has you beat. My intuition. <laughs> Thank you. I was thinking that exact same freaking song. <laughs> All right. So What is that song, too? It's uh yeah, it's a catchy song. It's by Jewel. Oh, that's right. It's Jewel's intuition. Okay. All right. So you so it will go point you. Okay, now in the right direction. Uh God, I haven't okay. heard anything. From Jewel and you. Okay, Rye, what is your uh, agility? Uh, my agility is also seven. Okay. So this... Okay. Right, non-regular. Oh. Nope. <clears throat> Just got regular. Never mind. The van is twenty-eight. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Does the van really have its own initiative? Apparently. Uh, the van is piloted by a pseudo sapient AI that's telekinetically linked to me. Oh, okay. No, telepathically, not telekinetic. Telekinetic is force. Telepath is. Yeah. <laughs> that would be. That would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very right. <laughs> Gotta push the, buttons with your mind. The van slams in. <laughs> the van slams into a wall, and Sylvia's character goes flying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think. I have everything sorted, so the van goes first, because of course it does. I was three blocks away! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, I can't remember, shall I run one of the games where you can speak out of turn? Yes. But a turn is only like two and a half seconds, so... A pass, not a turn. <clears throat>
<laughs> and again, I am standing here in a giant owl costume, so. <laughs> Regardless, regardless of context, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there may not be much of a choice. <laughs> Will Jackie right. be the voice of reason? Adventure avoided. <laughs> I think it really depends if they attack us or not, and if we... Oh, somebody's banging on my door. Hold on. Oh. I see three votes for now. Alright, I'm going to use this opportunity to get some refreshment. I'm going to use this opportunity to go yell at my sister not to touch my cookies. What? I don't know. I don't want to know. I thought we already got the beer. Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, I want to know if you were gonna, if you were gonna, if you're gonna take the deal or not. <laughs> Whether or not I actually bought you beer, I doubt it. Let me double check. Oh, I actually have way more cash left than I thought. Hmm. I'll buy you the beer, but I'm not gonna insist that you dress up like the Silk Spectre. I figure the alcohol will do that enough for me later. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm back. So, like, are these dudes just, like, running at us? Yes. Generally, they're running in your direction, in your general direction, because they're chasing after the dude in the front who's... Well, like, the only reason I asked is because they're, like, within 30 feet of us, it looks like. If this was Pathfinder, I'd just lightning bolt all of them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, we could probably still, if we really wanted to, you have all of them in one pass, but the question is if we want to. The uh, consensus seems to be no, so... Then I don't have any music <laughs> and open the door. We don't have any reason to other than they're here. Yeah, that's, that seems to be it. They're just here. Yeah. <sighs> Good job, team. <laughs> way to be moral. Way to be morally flexible. Uh, apathy, <laughs> apathy, rah rah rah. I mean, if we wanted to not be morally flexible, we could invite the guy they're chasing to hop in the van with us, but... And then we could beat him up and take his stuff. Yeah. Well, no, we're not going to jump through like, so, you know, seeing as we bailed you out, you're going to give us all of your things, right? Or a yeah. job. Then again, if he's running from these guys, he probably doesn't have anything worth keeping. There's also another fact that they think uh, you're his contact there, Roman. Yeah. 1v6. So, I mean... I well, maybe if I... One piece six is generally all you want to run from. Maybe if I shoot him, that'll dissuade their opinion. <laughs> I just go invisible and fuck that. Oh, yeah, I could do that, too. On my turn, anyways. That's... <laughs> That's brilliant! Brilliant, I tell you! Oh, God. This, gi this guy in a giant owl costume just disappearing. Disappearing right in front of them. That's amazing. That's the greatest thing I have heard in weeks. Oh my gosh. Mm. Fuck. Now I kind of want to go around in the costume all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like That's... playing Fallout 4 in the Silver Shroud outfit. It's just better. Okay, so. Uh, Still haven't played that. Is your van going to do anything? It did. What, what did it do? It's blurry, so why can't we be friends? Friends by war and open the side door on Roman's side. Okay. The sliding side door, not like the front doors, because fuck it's making myself vulnerable. <laughs> okay, so, um. That's the van's trunks. 
Okay. The uh, male elf treats Sammy in the front there. <laughs> He's going to um, fire onto the street mage. Now this definitely does not seem like our problem. It's it totally really doesn't. Our problem. I, I have a feeling it's going to become our problem in a second, but... Yeah. Yeah, I also have a feeling that if we just drive away from this, we're going to miss the story hook. Yeah. Exactly. This well, is the story hook. Yeah, pretty obviously. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be saving the street mage, but that implies that we actually care. <laughs> yeah, because really in character, we should just hop in the van and go to a different beer store. <laughs> so here to get more beer! Here's just a friendly suggestion, Brett. If you want us to save him, he's going to have to offer to pay us right now. <laughs> right. Uh, he's he's kind of busy running for his life. so He can throw quarters. He, he's just, <laughs> I'll just, pay you. Save he's, me. He's just going to have to do it, or we're going to leave him behind. <laughs> if it's not a job, why do we care? Because he, he sees us gearing up to, to leave him behind, and he's obviously running towards us for help. So he better do something, because... Come on, is there we're not. Maybe he's fast enough okay, to jump in the van too. We're shadow runners. We don't usually help people out of the kindness of our hearts. And beyond that, we don't know who he's affiliated with. We don't know who the people chasing him are affiliated right. with. Right. He might be the bad guy. Like. Yeah. And beyond that, if we got involved in this now, that's a personal thing. It's not a job. It's not a shadow run. We can't really use our normal frame of. Well, you know, a job's a job. How funny, would, how funny would it be if we just shot that guy? <laughs> I was thinking about it, yeah. Um, if, if we shot him, they'd probably stop Brett, telling just have him scream, I mean, hey yeah. me, I'll save you. I was like, I'll, that's like pay, I'll pay you, save me. Wow, I fucked that up. Yeah, that suddenly comes a job to me, and I'm like, yeah, okay, I can do with that. Well, it depends. Well, if he survives this, we'll see. Um, I'll pay me, save you. <laughs> what if they shout, I'll pay you not to save him? <laughs> but then we've got then we've got conflicting. Do you think it, are you right. kidding? Like they're on a job, they would never share their money. Would you? Well, they might not be shadow owners. They might just be a group of gangers. <clears throat> That's true. Just because they say male street samurai does not make him a shadow run. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. just the street samurai can be a ganger too. Yeah, it's just the name yeah. of the token. I would have named the token something like Ted or right. Uh, searching Guy. for Fisher. Guy one, guy two. Does anyone know what the modifier <laughs> is for running? Uh, no. Minus two to shooting. Minus two, huh? Yeah. Running, running, if running. Can, is there a way? I can Keep see those doggies running. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, old school. I'm <laughs> trying to figure out how to. Uh, if I can do that in Hero Lab. Yes, you can. Okay, where? Go to in play. That's where I'm at right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Go to a... Uh, adjust? Yeah. Add temporary adjustments. What? Oh, I see. I do not see. But yeah, running's not in there. It's just, why do you need to do it in here a lot? The minus T modifier while they're running. Yeah, that's all it is. Uh, yeah. It's it's nothing <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, there's no condition tab in this one, which is where it would have been. You don't need it. It's all situational. Like, you can't do that the same way. All right, oh, well, nonsense. Well, he misses. I can do it the same way if I want to. <laughs> uh, some of the bullets go whizzing past Roman's head. Whoa! Nick. Okay. And at this point, you hear uh, the street mage guy shout, Save me, goddammit! <laughs> That's, That's not how you do it. Nope. <laughs> well, being as a... Uh, and, uh, being... Uh, be being as, as how I don't like bullets flying. How fast can my van? How far? How fast can my van go? Very. Not very. Like probably a little bit faster than you. Oh, I can go ten. Wait, what? 
Hmm. Acceleration, though, if it works differently. But, yeah. so. How many of us are there right here? Right now, there's one, two, three, four, five, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. There's ten of us now? D depending on what side we join, right? <laughs> well, well, there's my drones. Your drones don't count when it comes to getting paid. Oh. oh. I thought he was counting the hooligans. Cause oh, there's five of us then. If we join their side, then there's. What is. do you guys think? Is a thousand yen each fair for. Yeah. Knocking. Yeah, yeah, it'll pay. It'll pay up. for the beer, sure. Yeah, a yeah. thousand yen. That's fine. That that makes up for that uh, pays for my groceries. What does he respond with, Brett? Um. <clears throat> he responds with, "Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Just save me." <laughs> a lot of the competing. Dusted. Dusted. <laughs> Consider it dusted. I launch um uh fire fire flight and uh sky king. Okay. Get in the copter. <laughs> get in the get in the chopper now. Right, there's sky king. I can't. It's too small and full of letters. And sky king. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's, you know, so uh, so deadly. Was that a was that a kitchen appliance joke? <laughs> yes. What care to know? Oh, whatever. Um, let's see what's full of it. Thirteen S. Okay. Uh, I can't help it. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um. Yeah. I'm going, uh, apparently Sky King, uh, which one is this? Oh yeah, Sky King's loaded with non-lethal. Good. Okay. Uh, let's see, it's five, but I'm going a little bit further, so full auto, narrow, 13, nope, just five, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Let's see, hold on a second. There's the roller, and, uh... Oh. Oh, okay. Those, okay, that's what those are. Okay, well, I'm not using those. Okay, so here's five. Five day. No. I have to turn on the numb luck. Anyways, on um, the um, uh, le leading street samurai, okay? Okay. And he'll take five. Three hits. Three hits against his armor. Oh, range defense. Oh yeah, the range defense. Yeah, sorry, it. I forgot. It's range. Where's its range defense? Ted? Reaction. The range defense is reaction. I know I've got non-lethal ammo, but I can't remember where in Hero Labs I can Go find to your weapon. Go to your weapon. Right. Click on Edit This Weapon. Okay. Oh, got your regular ammo, stick and shock, explosive rounds. Is, is reaction plus anything? Nope, it's reaction. Just reaction? Oh, and that's what I've got loaded. I've got non-lethal lo loaded already. So All right. Yeah. He, Damn. He's able to, to uh, definitely dodge aside. Let's see if he can do that again. Iron bite. Also loaded. Non-lethal. This again. Well, dang. Oh, that was fire flight, anyways. Bobby. Is that it? That's uh, it for uh, for me at the moment. I gotta boot up uh, Iron Bite <laughs> and Steel Jaw. 
The longer this fight goes on, the worse it's going to go for them. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wait a second here. Wait a second here. Alright, hold on. Um, that wasn't supposed to be five. That was actually supposed to be seven dice. Let's try that again. Roll two more. Yeah. Alright, uh... Let's try seven. Four hits. Ah! There we go. So. Even if I used the original roll, it was still a hit. Right, so, um. We'll go three. So, um. That's weird. Um, anyways, uh, 13 shock, 13 stun damage, um, resisted by impact plus two. Alright. So whatever your impact, um, armor is, add two to that. Oh, come on! Wow. Okay, 13 uh -huh. stun damage. Uh, I'm sorry, um... 14 uh 15 I'm sorry 16 stun damage 16 stun yeah that's a lot of weapons though mhm mm yeah he that seems wrong yeah, yeah he... that is wrong it could be 10 stun and 6 physical Oh, that's right. Yeah, hold on. I hit the wrong box. Hold on. Let me. Oh, uh, that's uh, just to save a attack macro. I'll ignore that. Done. Ah, uh, I think he drops. Must have been overheated. You dodge one drone, and then the other comes in and gels you. Hey. I don't think I've actually fired a weapon before. Can someone explain the... <laughs> I, know. I don't know how to do it either. Range process? <laughs> um, so it says I have a 21 dice to hit, but then it says 4S V I plus 1? Yes. Uh, so basically yeah. it is, is your, is your 20 odd dice, is what you're rolling to score hits. I, I understand, hits. yeah, I understand that part. I don't understand how I would write a macro for the damage. You can't. Uh, yeah, don't worry about the damage type. Um... Just say if it's S or P. Okay, so it just does only it only just does four per shot. I don't get it. No, no, it does uh, four per shot plus however many hits you score, net hits you score. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so see, I I scored. So if I pulled, I rolled at eight, then it would be eight. Well, if you rolled eight, their armor takes away three. Then it would be five plus your four, so it would be nine total. Okay. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. I still don't get it. But when don't, don't worry. We we've I'll got it. it. <laughs> Some, somebody in this group understands. Yeah. Uh, that's it for uh, Sky King and Fireflight. Oh, and um, food's up, so I'll be right back. Okay. Right. Hey, I downed one again. Mm, yeah. Mm. I think we have two each. Okay. I'm so, done. Right. Oh, I'm almost, and I'm booting up Iron Bite and Steel Jaw. So, um, Smell Troll is going to move down here, and he's going to try and grab the street match. <laughs> oh, lovely. Actually, I, uh, yeah, I think he's going to grab, but maybe, I don't know, are there grapple rules? <laughs> don't have faith. Awesome. <sighs> I think there's grapple rules. Probably somewhere. <laughs> Come on, Google. Oh, subdue.
Ah, it would be under, um... Block, disable, disarm, distract, escape hold, evade... Ah, grapple, I found it. Um, okay. In the anniversary edition of the book, it's on page 161 and 162. Subdue a character, resolve melee combat normally. If the attacker successfully hits, he carries strength plus net hits to the defender's body. If the attacker's total exceeds the defender's body, the attacker grapples and immobilizes the defender. The subduing attack causes no damage to the defender. To break out of the lock, the defender must take a complex action and succeed in a strength plus unarmed combat test with a threshold equal to the net hit scored on the grappling test. Otherwise, the defender remains subdued and cannot take any actions requiring physical movements. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to. I'm just going to hit him with, with his spurs. Okay. His spurs. spurs. <laughs> He's got spurs. I've got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. jingle. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way. As I said, Gek is out for Fallout. Uh... I think it's just the beta. No, it's the full thing. Really? I looked on Steam. I didn't see it. You wouldn't. <laughs> it's it's on Bethesda's website. Uh, oh, I've heard it's just the beta too. Oh, okay, never mind then. Yeah, but it's still I, on. So, some some people website. have the beta and they've been making mods with it. Some people don't have the beta and have been making mods. I'm saying better mods, like a quest mod. Yeah. I know. All about quest mods. Did he hit? Uh, I have to do ranged defense, but even so... No, I... you need to do melee defense. Melee, yeah, melee defense, which is... Not very good. He's still going to hit him. Just you gotta roll it anyways, because that a... tells you how many net hits you yeah. got. <laughs> Ow. Woo, yeah. So Actually, hold on. No, that's maybe wrong. He hits him that's back. wrong. That's wrong. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, one dice. Point one. That's Three wrong. minus four dice. Nice. Yeah, that's wrong. I have to reset his token because he's all. I, have, I remember every time I do this, I have to reset the, their tokens when, before I start using them. All right, mm. let's do that again. There we go. Okay, so net net of three hits. All right, Spurs do uh, 7P versus Impact. He has no armor. So. He gets no hits, apparently. Huh. No, no, wait, no, it just, no, that's not right. It's seven, yeah. it, no, okay. seven well, dice, no, it's seven no, damage. No, Brett, Brett, yeah, thank you, it just does seven damage. Plus three, plus three, so that's a total of... Ten. Ten damage, and, yeah. Okay, now, hold on. Now you resist. Now I resist with his impact armor. If it's, if it's, so... Whatever his impact is. He resists one, so he's taking nine physical damage. That sucks. Oh. Well, good news is, he's not dead yet. You're dead, I'm not dead yet. But he's pretty close. Yeah, he's pretty close. That does drop his initiative and all sorts of great things. Well, considering he was pretty much last on the initial list anyway, <laughs> he was near last anyway, he's definitely going last now. Gosh, this guy's hard to save, Amos. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's at the bottom of the initiative now. Yeah, he's not with looking very good. With negative three modifiers, ow. Yeah. Yeah. Getting hurt hurts. It does. That's why I use drones. That's why I was primarily in the Matrix. That's why yeah. I created an unkillable demon from hell. <laughs> I mean, wait, what? I mean, never mind. Arbitrarily, you could have hurt me in the Matrix. I'm gonna be not. muting my mic because I'm gonna be eating, and I don't want you guys to uh, listen to that. Okay. What you having? Burgers. Oh yes. Burgers. Burgers. The hamburger. Hamburger. I've got spurs that. Damn it! What? I've got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Alright. And we go quite merrily along. Right. Jingle, jingle. This guy is going to take his shot at Roman. <laughs> Roman? Roman hasn't done that. Oh, I guess he agreed to help defend the guy. And did and did shout out Dustum. Uh, he's he's going to be taking a, mod a modifier to uh, because he's moving. This is going to hurt so Two. bad. Three hits. Bad. This is against my ranged defense. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? sir. Uh, all right. Hey, one hit. It's enough to hurt. Yeah. And What's I'll... What's the damage, Brett? Uh, that's uh, six physical versus ballistics minus one. All right. Where's my ballistics? There it is. Uh, that negates. Mm, yeah. You got hit, but you took no damage. That's a lot of armor. Uh oh. <laughs> that is a lot of armor. Holy shit. The uh the dwarf looks down at his looks down at his um assault rifle, looks back up at you, he goes, I know I hit that guy <laughs> and sees your eyes glow. <laughs> you should run now. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Uh oh. This isn't gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna be great! For you. Not for them. And one of them advances. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Uh, everybody leave the uh, Street Samurai to Zohar. Hi. We know how much Zohar loves fighting Street Samurai. <laughs> Well, the Adam he loves fighting. Is that the one that's on the ground? No, the other one that just advanced. That's, that's the one that just advanced. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I see him. What's the rest of his <coughs> He is... Oh, yeah he, yeah, he can move some more. Does he want to? He should. <laughs> he should be running the other way. Let's see, revert to last move. How far oh. can he go? Whatever his movement is. Too far. Yeah, he, oh. Yeah, he, he can <laughs> get to Zohar. Oh, no. Whoa. I might have to pop him. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> movement of 10. I mean, come on. Yeah. Haven't I been in stealth this entire time? Yeah, oh, I don't know if well, I can just no, leave him It wasn't your, your turn when you rolled that. We were doing turns? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you have Jack, to do Jack, Jack, roll that turn. Well, just everyone was yelling everything. We were talking for much longer than like a two second. I, I recall distinctly recall Jackie saying that before initiative was rolled, but maybe that is not true. It, no, initiative was already rolled though when she rolled that. No, I think initiative actually was rolled already. Yeah. I was just confused because we're all just sitting here chatting. All right, so, so this is going to be glorious. He draws his katana. Uh, oh, this is going to be funny. <laughs> no, I, I'm looking at it. I scrolled up and. Oh no, that's initiative. Was it where? Is, 
Yeah, that's initiative. Initiative Wait, happened. Is he meleeing me? This yeah, is gonna be is. great. I know. It's it's like fast food delivered to you. It's beautiful. Uh, All right, three hits. <laughs> is it against my um, melee, melee defense, defense or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my melee defense is fifteen, so. Well, roll them. Let's see what you get. Okay, so I... Okay. Oh, that's right. I wanted to open my card packs. You wouldn't fax a car. Did you hear about the guy who downloaded the car? Oh! oh. So well, I think I did. Yeah, so you dodge to the side. Uh, there was a guy in Europe somewhere who downloaded schematics for panels on a car and 3D printed them. Alright, nice. Rye, it is your turn. Alright, well, I really honestly, despite what uh, Roman said, I can't see not attacking the guy right there. Who is to step back and let us fight like men? <laughs> yeah, do it. Totally do. Yeah. Uh -huh. awesome. Just step back step and back. let them fight. Just watch. You don't want to step back and shoot at the troll that grabbed the street mage. I could totally do that too. All right, good, good, fine. <laughs> step back, motherfucker! You don't know me like that. Yeah, I'm really not that good with a gun, <laughs> anyway. So, is there like cover for male troll one? Uh, you can you can hop into the van if no, you want. I have a door no, I'm not gonna just run away again. Just. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be firing from inside uh, the car where there's cover. Yeah, the car gives significant cover bonuses. All right. So if I made all the, if I, all right, let me put me back where I was. So if I make a move into the car, yeah, do I still there. get a shot? You can yep. still take a shot. Yeah. The, the door is open. You're just gonna get bonuses from being in the vehicle. Okay. Because well, you're in cover now, and he isn't. Okay. Also, my vehicle has gun ports and shit. It's pretty fancy. Alright, okay. It's a Harkmer battle jitney. So, it sort of seems odd that he would That's just, the most non-lethal car of all time. <laughs> while his only friend here is getting attacked, he jumps into the car. But, <laughs> but yet again, that also seems exactly like what he would do. So... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, one. We don't uh, keep you around right. for killing powers. Right. <laughs> we keep you around because you're like one of the best creepy ass stalkers. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, and then I'm gonna. And you're funny. We, like, we keep you around because you're funny too. <laughs> right. No, don't yeah, worry. Because I'm old. Rise like, don't worry. I got this. <laughs> Run away. He does like the freaking Max Payne <laughs> style jump into the fam. Okay. So and then I'm gonna fire at. The male troll one, I guess, who has okay. got a guy with my Taurus. Shoot him in his ugly troll face. Yeah. <clears throat> Wow. Oh, wow. Wait a second. You said you weren't... Holy crap. That's just really good rolling. That's 50% hit. Holy fuck. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Red, better, roll your range defense. It's better when he's running away. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, you're still gonna hit him. Just no, no, just roll it. Yeah, this is important. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna hit him. So do I need to do something? Not so, oh! get this. Get this. So, so that's both a critical success on Rai's part and a glitch on his part, on the troll's part. Yeah. So, uh, Rai, you can basically describe hitting him wherever you want. <laughs> Is he dead? Did I, no, I don't want to kill him. It was non lethal. It'll be non lethal damage. But what kind of guy? Probably won't kill him. Uh, well, hold on. Let me go to my thing and I'll yeah, tell go you. Go into your labs and read out the damage code for your gun. Uh, okay, so it's stick and shock. Damage rating 6S E, inside okay. apostrophes, versus our V, one half of. I or L, possibly. It's I. <laughs> it's I. So basically, right now, you're doing 15 damage of stun damage versus half of his impact armor. Which 
is which is, is good. Bad. That's fantastic. <laughs> Brett, roll that impact armor, please. So right. and now you've got a critical success, and he's glitched. So I may so have killed him inadvertently. Killed him. No, no, because he has a ten damage track. So you, you, even with a fifteen, you won't be able to kill him. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Maybe hurt him. him. However, you want. You just want. He's gonna fucking field in the morning. That's for sure. I just want him to leave the guy that's paying us alone. He's gonna <laughs> fill it next week. Okay, so thirteen that's... stun damage. Holy, holy crap! I just okay. that's. I so don't understand how this the works. The fantastic but... thing about rolling a critical success <laughs> is that you get to, the situation happens exactly how you want it to. So <laughs> describe the art. So so your stick and shot bullet goes out, flies out of your gun, and can nail this guy. Yeah. Where? Yeah, groin. Right <laughs> Thirteen stun damage to the testicles. Right to the dick. Right to the dick. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh yeah, he's, he's gonna be feeling that for a, a while. Oh, and he just goes down. <laughs> oh, oh, he's he's clutch he's clutching as he goes down. Oh, that's glorious. Mm. <laughs> like completely glorious. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh man! I really hit the nail on the head with that one. Uh, okay. Um. By the way, I I see all this through the. Uh... That's what you get for dicking around. <laughs> <laughs> Shot with taser ammo straight in the fucking dick. That's... <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> 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 That's pretty fucking awful. I don't know if it's backing off. Oh shit, that was awful. Oh. <laughs> Zara's basically salivating. Nom, nom, nom. Mm. Uh, is that all you're going to do, Tim? I, I think I, that's can enough. I, can I do <laughs> more? <laughs> no, that's Fantastic. it. That's it for this pass. Yeah. All right, so uh, this other troll moves down. Why? <laughs> uh, what is he going to do? Oh, I gotta go last. This is gonna suck. No, oh, you're actually second to last. What? You're second yeah. to last. No, I'm not. Well, no, no, there's, there's the hidden initiatives. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the initiative you can't. Well, I meant out of us, because let's face it, we're the only ones that matter. <laughs> Fair nice. point. Okay, let's oh, see like here. He's these going to Are these chumps that don't matter. You fine. Hmm. Think... You sure? What? Who are these chumps that don't matter? Who are you fighting? Just... Uh, we we were on a beer run. Yeah. And uh, we were just getting beer, and this 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 asshole was being chased by a bunch of fucking goons, and he's like. Save me, I'll pay you. I'm like, all right. You like money? <laughs> you like money, right? You look like you group look like a bunch of fine <laughs> fine people who enjoy cash dollars. Take my money and save my life. All right. Well, he's going to just hit him with an unarmed strike. Might be best because. <sighs> He's near death as it is, so. Gonna die. So his, so he sees his buddy get nailed in the in the crotch, and is like, "Yeah, let me let me let me go after the guy." Yeah, Ooh. Tom, did you hear what happened? Oh. Wait. He, he oh yeah, zero dice pulled. Never mind. Oh. Yeah, he can't he can't defend at all. Oh, Jackie, tell Tom, um... Oh, June... Ugh, that sucks. Uh, Jackie, tell, uh, uh, uh Tom what, 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 uh, Tim just did. Tom! Mm. Tom! Alright, okay, that is... God, my dad's TV is so fucking loud. I wish he never would have bought that speaker system. Alright, let's see, what is... <laughs> 
Like, no, seriously, his TV's so fucking loud. Nice. Of course, the problem is, even with his armor, his armor is not going to do anything either. Tom! So he's going to take straight, uh... Anybody wants me to tell you about what Tim just did, because it was pretty badass. Take... Uh, he just scored, like, 13 points down damage on the dude. Nice. <laughs> to the right groin. The nice. <laughs> Takes five stun. Still alive. Still alive. He's just really, really bad right now. I mean, he can't defend. He can't do anything. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Hmm. Roman. All right. So. I need death ghost. What? Tiny get death ghosts. I still tiny, can't understand. Tiny death ghost. Oh no, I'm not gonna murder anybody right now. Um, who was the one that shot me? Nail dwarf uh, one. Yeah. Dwarf, I think. Okay, so I am going to cast this spell against male troll four. Super. This is a stun bolt. I mean, super ice. We cast it at force six. Tom, we're weaves. Wow. You know, I feel like no, you no. probably cast we're weaves for one piece, and that's it. Look stunning. So I just realized again for like the fifteenth time that my macros all fucked up. Um. So that is uh, nine hits. So that is going to be. 12, uh, 12 stun damage. Is it resisted uh, by... Resisted by willpower. Just straight willpower there, Brett. Have fun. <laughs> so, he takes 12, then? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why are you rolling the troll? Because... That was who he attacked. Yeah, that's. I thought you were attacking the dwarf. No, I'm attacking the troll. Oh. The one who's threatening our client. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm. A, I. I just want to know what Nero's van's gonna do. It's gonna sit there and be a van. Okay. Now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um. You might even say that it's fantastic. No, it's more like a vampire. No, because I was doing fantastic and then I know. whatever. As long as it doesn't get vandalized, I'm happy. <laughs> you go. But it wasn't I... my uh, it wasn't my new uh, pass yet. I can't run. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Did Roman just teleport? No. It's actually a pretty short distance. Oh, I said just. Just as a, a side note, Roman did this by raising roughly two inches above the ground and floating over to the guy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm still glowing. <laughs> so imagine this. Roman wearing a, an Owlman suit, floating two inches off the ground and with his eyes glowing. <laughs> you know, I think you should actually roll Intimidation just for fun. And that's right after sending a a bolt of energy uh, at a troll that just causes him to drop completely. So yeah, good times. And that's going to be Roman's turn. Okay. I'm not actually rolling intimidation. Um, I can't unless Brett has me do it. It's up to you. I think. I think it's an action. Is it? I, I guess think so. I would imagine so. Well, the uh, dwarf up here goes, Get away from me, brother! And come down to you, and he's going to try and unload his shotgun in your face. Okay. I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's been up there for a while. Uh, he's going to get in close to unload his shotgun. Well, he doesn't want to hit his brother, right? Yeah, so... Well, good luck. 
There's a reason why I switched out to, um... Uh, a handgun rather than a shotgun. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that is pretty good. I think that's, a, crit I think that's a critical success, huh? Nine hits out of 15 dice? Yeah. Well, depends on how well I do on my defense. My ranged defense, uh, which is... Looking at these, it doesn't seem to actually be an action. It's just whenever you're in attempting to influence another NPC. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I honestly don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the actions list, but so far, that appears to be what it is. Okay, that's blank. Yeah, I can't see the results from that. Can anybody else? Nope. No, I can't. No. Negative. I don't understand that. Oh, I didn't do very well, did it? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven net hits. Ouch, this is gonna hurt, probably. Yeah, um, it does, uh... Five physical versus ballistics minus one. So that's twelve damage against ballistics minus one. Yep. Oh, this is gonna uh, hurt. Um... Uh, shotgun force it, isn't it? I'm gonna spend a point of edge on this. Okay. What? Um. Yeah. Completely negated. So, yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> he, he, he literally he literally sees you get peppered with buckshot. <laughs> I, just, I heard my ears so cute when you came it like that. <laughs> so yeah, he literally. Because you can just hear it from far away, and then it starts getting closer and closer. <laughs> so yeah, he see, he sees you literally get peppered and buckshot. He knows he hits you <laughs> from five feet away. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Fucking point blank, almost. <laughs> He knows you should be dead. And he just looks... He, he just kind of goes... You, you almost see him kind of cringe and die a little inside as he <laughs> goes... Oh, on? Sh as he goes, oh, shit. Yep. Wake up in the morning, Nira. Wake up in the morning, wake up in the morning, get real high! Uh, so, if I'm looking at it, uh, it's... For any active skill that doesn't have a, a preset um, value, to use it is a complex action. But it says that in one place in the entire book, and I think it can say it in more places than that. Alright, so it's a complex action to intimidate. Yeah, so now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Yo, Joe! Now, here's the better question. What is the other half of the battle. So actually, anyway, actually killing people? Uh, no. It's shooting red and lasers at each other. One of the extra uh, machine spirits to use the van's machine gun. The van has a machine gun. Yes. Knowing his half, acting is the other half. I hope it's filled with non-lethal. Uh, it's gonna fire at Okay, I've got my thing messed over so I can't see, but the dwarf on the right. The one that's not directly in front of Roman. Uh, dwarf, uh, just male dwarf. That's the one. So, here is the hits. Not bad, six hits. Out of 22. Roll right. your range defense. Okay. I love that. Alright, so he gets uh, four saves from that, so you got a net of two. Net of two? Here, let me figure out my damage here real quick. I don't have it set up quite right. All you gotta do is mouse, is uh, go to Yeah, I, I know. It's because I have my. Keep in mind, I have like 
13 things on my dashboard in Hero Labs. Oh, you need that for a second. Love. Um, yeah, I know the feeling, strength. Sylvia. I know the feeling. I can't be, be friends. Roman kicks. Okay, so that's, um... So I got two net hits? Yes. That's 13, yeah, that's still playing from the speakers, isn't it? 13 stun damage versus half impact armor. 13 stun plus half impact. Okay. Minus half impact. Or versus half impact. Okay. Oh man, y'all got awesome guns. All I got is, um... Like killer drones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Alright, so that's 11 points of stun damage to Nail Boy. 11 points? Yeah. Funk. <clears throat> Man, this non lethal stuff is awesome. It is, and we can still yep. strip them naked. <laughs> yeah, nothing. We find nothing right now. Yeah. I don't even think we're breaking any laws at this exact moment. Wait, we probably are. Whatever. Considering Roman probably wants trophies. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Roman just took. Um... <laughs> I, I I don't think I should shoot the one that's in front of Roman. All right. Even though I. <laughs> what do you think, Magic? I don't care. It's you up to care? you. No. Don't you dare shoot the one in front of me, I swear to God. I, I dare not care. again. Not this time. <laughs> yeah, I'll shoot the one in front of Roman, too. Okay. How come you fire twice? Uh, I'm shooting in burst fire, not full auto. All right, so a net hit of four. I oh, know. I'm right. sorry. That'll be five, actually. Okay, net hit of five is sixteen stun versus half of impact armor. Okay. So what type of non-lethal are you guys get? Are you guys using? Uh, stick and shock. Ah, okay. Uh, so I'm using gel good. rounds. How much stun did you say that was? What? Stun, how much? Oh, uh, 16 versus impact minus, or half impact. Okay, so he resisted 3, so he takes 13. Yep. Sucks to these guys. Alright, Zohar, it's your turn. Yay! Um, uh, Tim, all it is is it's the stuff in Hero Labs. Yeah, I think next time somebody hits, if you guys can just explain, like, how yeah, you... Yeah, I'm next, so you I'll show you. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you, yeah. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a fun little fight. It's gonna be a short little fight too, but um Can I stealth and then attack or is that not allowed? Stealth would be a complex action. So yeah. you wouldn't have anything. Yeah. So just um. Okay. Just smack him. That's why I asked. <laughs> God, Roman is a badass. <laughs> he has his moments. In this fight, you've had big moments. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I, I think a shotgun blast to the What? Face. That is the most unbelievable shitty luck I have. That's, no, I, that's about average. I have 22 dice. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty low for 22. Yeah. Should have gotten roughly seven, seven hits on average. Seven yeah. Least, yeah. yeah. All right, Brett, roll that me melee defense. All right, melee defense. Roll that defense for Yeah, in Hero Labs, you can find your melee defense value at the top. Hey, Jackie. Wait, we should we probably explain uh. this to Tim. Okay, so Jackie got one net hit. That was not nearly as impressive as I wanted it to be. I don't know. What's your damage? Uh, it is... Um, oh, melee defense. 4S, B, yeah. um, I plus one. Impact. Uh, so um, it, it's uh, five. So Brett, five stun. Four shock damage. plus short. Four shock versus impact plus one. Yes. Uh, and you've got five. Five. So you got one net hit. That's where it gets confusing. All right. So when you roll, and you and you get a hit. All right. Right. On somebody, they're gonna roll their um their defense range right. or melee. Right. Whatever. If you if you exceed whatever they roll. You add the net hits, in this case, one, to your damage. Yes, and see, he rolled a four, and I rolled a five. That means one carried over. Okay, so there's one, and yes. your damage is determined by, by, your weapon. by your weapon. By the weapon. Okay, okay. So, so, like, the long sword is, is 1d8. Um, in Pathfinder, in this game, her shock fist is four. Four stun damage. Since okay. she got one net hit, it's four stun damage plus her net hit, so it's five stun damage. Right. Okay, so when mine says six S parenthesis E so versus six, half just a type I. Of what, what that means is it's six stun, and then the parentheses means it's energy damage. Okay, versus half of I. And half there's, of their there is ballistic Im armor and impact armor. Uh, depending on the type of attack, you know whether or not it's a a stabbing kind of attack or a bludgeoning kind of attack. So that tells you which value you use, ballistic or impact, and whether or not you're dividing it in half or adding a number to their armor or subtracting a number. Okay, so if their impact armor was ten and minus half I, then it would be versus five impact armor. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh Okay. All right. Oh, well, I I'm not gonna say I get this, but I feel like I'm closer to getting it. Yeah, we we understand. <laughs> it, it, it takes a little bit to uh, to understand, but yeah, um, it's it's very different from for yeah for or, yeah or whatever. For yeah. I think you had typed out version that you can refer back to it. For martial kinds of combat, the first roll is basically what Pathfinder's AC is, except that the difference affects how much damage is dealt. Yeah. And then the second one is how much of the damage they get held with, uh, hit with that they can ignore because of the properties of their armor. That is called soak. So the first so one is trying to avoid like the yeah. damage, the second one is trying to absorb it. Like Alright, yeah. so roll your... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, okay, so Jackie, could you read me the code again? Hmm? What okay? What damage did it do? Four stun, uh, four stun versus impact plus one. Okay. It's five stun versus. Yeah, five impact stun versus plus impact one. plus one. Right, the roll is impact. So. Damn. One. One stun. <sighs> You're right. That was not as impressive as it could, as it should have been. Damn. Melee fights are just weird. Okay, so now the uh, almost unconscious street uh, mage. Yeah, he uh, hobbles over to the van. Limping and gets in and goes, oh, oh, thank God you got me. Oh. <coughs> He's bleeding <Okay>. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think your hero would have something to say. You need a hose. <laughs> oh, shit. Bo, what was that? That was my dog being an asshole. Ooh. 
I'm shocked that a dog can be an asshole. Lily, Lily has this habit of walking through this really narrow area, which knocks things over. I can't spell upholstery, but it's a. And organs isn't capitalized. Whatever. <laughs> really, you girl, I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Did you really spend that much pimping it out? Uh, my van is worth a little over two hundred thousand dollars. Holy yumpin' yo cinefet. Is that like one of those weird spices? Your cinefet? Oh, sorry, a little over 100,000, not over 2, Okay, alright. Holy yumpin' <laughs> yo cinefet. Oh, okay. just ask, how the fuck did you get that much money? Drugs. Uh, Mira still has lots of money. Oh... All right, so I'm not uh, one hundred percent up on the um, melee combat stuff. Is uh, Zohar limited to one melee attack around, or I mean a pass? Uh, it depends if it's a simple or a complex action. I don't know. I'm checking. Oh, hold on. Uh, it's a complex action. I checked. Yep, okay. never mind. That'd be one. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. So we're on to pass number two. Pass number two. The van. Uh, I. I went this entire round to do something, and then like you guys like take all them out, and I just like do one point of damage to this asshole. <laughs> I don't think the van's gonna do anything. It's just gonna be a van. Right. I don't know, do, you, do you guys just want to stand by and let these two took it out? Yes, that's what yes. I'm gonna do. All right, yeah. all right, Jackie. So yeah, so what we're gonna do is I'm just we're gonna just, just trade off one of us each going. So I'm gonna go now. Yeah, we're gonna duel. Duel. If it looks bad job, though, I'm gonna shoot the motherfucker in the head. Cole, I'm gonna hit you in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see here. Can he? Does he have any? <laughs> uh, I just love the visual of, of Roman getting hit by uh, being shot in the stomach by a shotgun, brushing the the. Uh, Bullets off and then. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Glaring. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's that's such an amazing <laughs> right. visual. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, there's a crit. Okay, there's a crit success. So six hits. Oh. Right, let's see what the range defense. Melee defense. Oh, are you fucking kidding Ooh. me right now? Wow. <laughs> that. Oh, next Fifteen five. dice, one hit. Holy. Holy crap. Wow. No, like, this game can't start hating me, too. This isn't fair. <laughs> All right, so that's owl. resisted. So it's six physical uh, versus impact minus one. Where's my impact? Um, should be in your... Oh, um... On the category. Okay, so I have 17 dice, so I roll those, right? Yes. Yep. This is your impact armor. Don't be a one. Don't be a one. No, oh, don't jinx it. <laughs> you gotta do better than you did on your defense roll. No, I could actually do worse. <laughs> it's almost guaranteed that you'll do better, though. <laughs> <laughs> May the odds. Oh what my the God! You see there? You double. I'm quitting this game. Good. It, it wasn't like a. Me. It wasn't a one. <laughs> well, uh, Tim, you were correct. I, I could you do better. I've got faith um, in you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's nine physical. Oh, Dukes! All right, I'm gonna have to shoot him in the head. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this duel is over. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, Rye, shoot him in the head. Wait, can I help? <laughs> yes, please. I don't know whose turn it is. Do you want me to help you or drop him? That's an option? Yeah, he can heal you. Um, 
do whatever you think is better. <laughs> do whatever what? Do whatever do whatever you think is better. Because <sighs> I, I have 12 on my physical track, so I'm still 5 away. But that, yeah, that's a little more close than I was expecting to get today. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to heal you because I'd like you to have a knockout drag out fight with this guy. Yeah. I can only do this once, though, for specific damage, so. Okay. Uh. So if I don't hit him really hard this next turn, feel free to kill him. Alright, let's see what this is. I love how we're just, you know, discussing, watching Zohar pick this, you know, fight this guy, and we're like, okay, so if this goes uh, wrong, um... But you just mage guys just going, what the fuck are you guys doing? Your friends uh, are dangerous. That's standing here. An unfortunately average roll. But whatever. Well, that's okay. four. So I'm five out of twelve now for like yeah. I... Uh uh you heal two points. Oh I heal two points? Yeah, I'm splitting it up so that it happens instantaneously instead of requiring a couple of rounds. Okay. That should be so enough. Seven for, out of. That should be enough for one more round. <laughs> so see if you can take them out, and if not, then right. we'll drop them. We're we'll try to, anyways. All right. All right, Zohar, it's your turn again. Punch them in the arms. Punch them in the legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm laughing at something else. Oh. That's there. You go. That's good. Yeah. Eight hits. Mm -hmm. That is not bad. That's a lot of hits. Because I like to share. Almost half. All right. Five net hits. Yay! Nine damage. I really like to share. I believe you. Um, am I supposed to be rolling something? No, okay. nope. Redis. All right. Well, I already roll the. Uh... Okay. Well, what's oh, the? Yeah. Uh... That's melee defense. Impact yeah. one now. No. Uh, what? Impact plus one. Roll it. Impact plus one. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Right. So, uh, that's five points. Uh, it's five four points. S. That was. So you're still doing five stun. Wait, why am I doing five stun? Because your net hits of five get added to the four damage it does on its own to give you a total of nine damage, and then here is a four. Oh, okay. Okay, he's not looking very good. You don't want other people to intervene now, or do you want to finish this, Jackie? Um, let Jackie finish it. Okay. I just want to die. You want to die? You just fall unconscious. You're both doing stun damage. Well, I guess on a really oh, he's doing roll. physical damage. Yeah, he's oh. doing actual damage. He's hitting me with a katana, Sylvia. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> All right, it's up to you. You want us to drop him or not? Oh, I had really shitty rolls last time. Should I chance it on really not having shitty rolls again, or should I just let you murder him? Oh, we're not murdering him. We're going to shoot yeah. him in the, the head. The well, effectively enemy. murder him. Whatever. I, I'm kind of ready to do it anyway. Just <laughs> Do it, Rye. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rye. Take a shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if this goes as bad. And again, he's not dead yet. Seven hits. Jesus, right? Not, not half, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, where did I get this gun? <laughs> I don't know, but... You got it from Lucky Leprechaun, I, I think it may be loaded. 
All right, so net hits of five net hits. So I need to roll armor. Wait, where did you roll your? I need yeah. five net hits. Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on, that's right, hold on. I'm. You have to I, roll your things, defense. You can't just make a number up, man. <laughs> no, I roll. Um, I rolled wrong. Hold on. <laughs> you didn't roll I, at all. Actually, no, I meant to make up seventeen hits. He rolled so that only the the GM. Could I, see. I I oh. messed up though. I rolled. I didn't have this token clicked, so I had to re-roll because he has minuses. Yeah. Well, well, he did better. Four so, net hits. Four net hits. So now five really dice, three hits. Right, you were in the wow. zone today. <laughs> right, fuck that you. Was good, yeah. Not really. You turned my amazing fight into like like your good luck and my shit luck has been making this fight not as cool as I was hoping it would be. <laughs> All right, so we got seven hits, so two net hits. No, no, no. four, four net hits. All right, so what, so um half your impact armor, Brett. Mhm. Mm half of it. Half half of impact. Okay. Yes. Yep. Half. Take whatever number it is, divide it in half. Is it round down or round up? Down. Down. Shadow run goes down. Giggity. And um four stun damage. Four? Um oh, well, what's no, the damage uh, on the uh, gun? Ten. ten stun the damage. damage is six six stun ten. Yes. E so ten stun F. total. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking net hits in my brain. And down he goes. Oh yeah, he's down. And that does oh. not overflow like that. Your token, your framework is not very functional. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, he, he already had a whole bunch of stun anyway. We know that, but it's just weird. Yeah. All right, you guys well, want to? He shouldn't go from zero physical to ten physical from overflow. <laughs> Who wants to start looting the body? Will I talk to our errant street yeah. mage and get him to pay up? I'll help. I'll help too. Brett, send me the profile with the loot. All right. They fit. Oh, that's great. Oh, and I'm gonna slap a, a med patch on him because I have some in my van. Yeah, he. Yeah, he's not looking too hot, so he's gonna need some medical care. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put. Uh, use a med kit on him. Wait, wait, wait till he pays. <laughs> Very good. <point>. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, now might be a good time to negotiate for higher pay. <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't have a, right. I don't have the first right. aid skill. Exactly what kind of insurance do you have? <laughs> <laughs> oh well. All right, so I don't have the uh, first aid skill. You heard in that little confrontation. I think we need some compensation. Yeah, all that money we asked for up front—that was just baseline. Yeah, uh, we can't renegotiate afterwards. But if he wants more protection or. Uh, first aid or something like that. He can negotiate. <laughs> okay. Uh, do not include the vehicles or the. Um... I don't see any vehicles here. I got that. Oh, there should be. You don't have any vehicles on your side. No, 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 no we don't have on the map, So I. Vehicle. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying in the uh, PR descent, uh, there are vehicles listed. Just ignore those and the Talismonger. Okay. Unless you just feel like. Loot, you know, stripping him and dumping his body somewhere. That's up to you. We may. Depends on whether or not he's going to hand money to me. <laughs> or maybe, you know, Roman will just put him in his larder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat people. I mean, I could. But, <laughs> but I don't usually around polite company. Hey, Did so... I um, also include the cash they have on hand? Do they have cash on hand? Uh, oh, they have red sticks and shit. Oh, uh, uh, well, no, that, no, that's <coughs> they, no, that's how much money they spend on the resources. Yeah. No, no, they had, like the first guy in the pro portfolio has a cred stick on him worth uh, three ten. Not very much, but we'll take it. All right, so I'll add that in and oh, yeah. logic. Okay, so uh, Brett, I. Walked over to him, held out my hand, and he just said, "Money." <laughs> he goes. He goes. Look, uh, <coughs> look. I don't have that kind of cash on me right now. So, look, I'm a courier. 
<coughs> if you can help me get my my delivery to where it needs to go, I'm I'm trying to get you some money there. <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, oh, God! Wait, hold on a second. Uh, magic dealer, may I? Uh, I, I believe I heard the word talismonger referring to this guy about a moment ago. Um, aren't those purveyors of magical goods? Possibly. But it also a, might too? just mean that he's got like, uh, uh, shitty basic gear too. Doesn't mean he's got anything good on him. Either way, it might be something worth inquiring over. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm gonna have to. I have no actual first aid skill. Yeah, that's what a med kit is for. So you can help people without knowing really what you're doing. Okay. Um, so I've got a rating five med skill. Well, don't don't okay. offer to heal him until we've come to an agreement. Okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna he um, then I'm gonna help my good friend Zohar. <laughs> Good call. Hey, I, I, I would um, respond to your <coughs> comment, Roman. He goes, <coughs> you, I guess you could, but you don't know where it's going. Oh, he's got a point. <laughs> Like, he kind of looks at you like, I thought you were some sort of hero, man. I mean, look at that <laughs> costume. I, I, I recognize that. It, that's very retro. <coughs> oh, God, was that my lung? <laughs> retro, yes, it's definitely retro. Uh, does Zohar still use grenades? No, uh, I. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have a ton of caramel left. I could do it if I wanted to. Okay, one of these, a couple of these guys have like ten grenades on them each. Then just if you or take them anyway, we don't want them. We don't want them to have them anyway. Oh no, I'm taking everything, and we're just, I'm figuring out if that's the only thing I've seen so far that anyone might want is grenades. Most of them have pretty mediocre gear otherwise. He's a shotgun, he's in a bad mood. Wait, wait. He kind of looks at you and he goes, <coughs> Wait, dude, look at me, I'm. I'm like, what are you now here? <coughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here, man. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Take me to a street dog or something. Um, um. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh, so, hey, does anybody know what I roll for, uh, this? I invite May I? Yeah, go ahead. As a, uh, do you happen to know of a chemical referred to as Rigger's Cocktail? What cocktail? Rigger's Cocktail. Um, or Buzz or Beta Mass. This sounds... Like a drug? It yeah. is. Yeah. One of them has a lot of it. Do you want it? What does Rigger's Cocktail do? Plus two reaction, plus one intuition. Uh, become energetic and prone to jumpiness. And when it wears off, you take five seconds. 
Yeah, oh. sure. Let me find it. In, it's in gear, right? Should be in gear. Yeah. Beta map. Ah. Uh, well, anybody know what I roll for the um med kit? He kind of he glances over at Zohar and goes, "The lady's got a point." Uh. Wait, what did you say? Lady. <laughs> He, he's assuming. Yeah, I know. That's that fine ass. <laughs> what is this under again? Mm. I'm miscellaneous gear called beta math. Uh, it's underneath drugs. I'm in re. Uh... Okay. And it's called Rigger's Cocktail. Beta meth, as I've said the last 17 times. Beta. Oh. But it's... One of its... Well, my computer just decides to restart by itself. Yeah, that's lovely. It's updating. I love you, Windows 10. I'm so glad I saved my fucking hair lab folder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Windows 10 is pretty, well, horrible about that. It. it doesn't really sneak up on me a whole lot. How much beta meth is there? Hmm. Fifty. Fifty. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. You okay I'm, there, Brett? You spill your beer? No, uh, not, not I my now beer. have <laughs> Rickers cocktail. It was my. It was my drink I spilled. Ah, oh, that sucks. I, I, I forgot the can was still had shit in it. That sucks. Um. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be lovely. Uh. Seems like an awful lot of work for real. Story hook. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, so, anyways. Um, um, anyway, let me. So wait, I roll the the, um, the med kids rate uh, uh, rating right. Magic, Sylvia. No You're talking about first aid. Yeah. What's the rating of your kit? Five. Five. All right. So. Uh, if you don't have the skill, I think you would just roll five. Okay, it does default to logic, so... Double check. Do, 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 do. Two, uh, page 253. Uh, why don't I have a medkit on this character? What the hell? I don't know. Must have forgotten to pick one up. I've got five of them if you want one. Nah, I should have my... My own. It's just weird. Med kit. The med kit's rating adds to the dice pool of all first aid tests and replaces the character's skill if the character doesn't possess the skill. Okay, so in this case, it's rating five plus my logic, right? Yeah. Oh, so one. six, so eleven. So you roll eleven dice on the first aid. Alright, so med kit eleven. Five hits. Now what? Nothing, because we're not healing him yet. No, I'm healing Zohar. Why would you heal Zohar? Be Ouch! I'm 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 hurt, dude. <laughs> Literally, but Oh, that was great. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, five, five hits. Average. All right, so what's the first aid skill say? Oh, God, you're going to make me look at first aid, aren't you? Better than me looking at it. <laughs> uh, so, first aid, first aid. Okay. Uh, it governs basic medicine. Um... Okay, you know what? I need to go to a certain page. How many other are five? Uh, page uh, 253 in the... Yeah, just update. I don't care. Uh, I need to go to... That's one drive. <sighs> Does, uh... Does this mysterious street mage appear to have anything of value? 
anything of value on him? Um, yep. Because hmm. that'll work as collateral. <laughs> uh, let's, let's see here. Um, he does, let's give him that. I'm back. Important player. Okay, he has that as well. There's a rabbit hopping around my apartment, so I need to keep my cord fairly away from him. And one of them fell. You yeah. just let the rabbit roam free? Yeah, pretty well, not free. It only has access to our living room, but. Huh. He's happier that way. The problem, I don't know, just the problem is, is the mess. Uh, he's actually getting better. You can litter train rabbits. It just. A litter trained it's, rabbit? It's, yeah, you can totally litter train rabbits. It's just. He's gonna be a little territorial until he gets fixed ne next month. You hear that little guy? <laughs> ah, I've gotta find my freaking. Your little guys are about to go away. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> I also suspect he may have a uh, bladder infection, so I'm taking him to the vet on Friday. Let's see here. How, let's see, how you put? Oh money... yeah. I'll be back, guys. How do you put money on a cred stick? I uh, just assign how much you pay for it, basically. Buy a cred stick and put me on it, and then it'll charge you for it. Literally go into, like, any old, like, go into gear, hit cred stick, and then just type in however much you want to pay for it. Oh. Okay. There it is. Certified cred stick. What? Amount to pay, and just punch in however many you want to pay. Now what it says on my end. Okay. What do you mean? On my end, it just says, just says one at twenty-five yen. Yeah, that's how much it costs to buy one. Yeah, but you just punch in a custom cost. Is what you do. Oh well, isn't this lovely? That determines how much is on the credit stick. Yeah. So you see, when you're you've got the certified credit stick selected. Says it's 25, and then when you look at the site, it says quantity to buy one. Yeah. Below that, it says amount to pay. No, mine it doesn't. Are you in character creation? Yeah, well, considering this guy is based off a template character, uh, off the uh, encounter builder character, yeah, probably would. That would be your problem. You're not actually buying things. I'll just write down how much is on it. That works too. You can also pick custom gear from the top list and then just write that in. Right, well, somehow, my so I'm gonna be right back, folks. Can okay. Send me the um, um, anniversary guide for Shadowrun. Apparently, I lost it. Really? Yeah. I I can send it to you if you want. Yeah, please do. I've got all the other books, but I don't have the anniversary uh, guide. Okay, now, what else do I want to do with this guy? That would help. I should probably give him a few things here. Is, does he have anything valuable enough to, to use as collateral? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, the thing is, while under the encounter builder, this guy is a is a talismonger, so he has magical ability. Just for some reason, they never gave this guy any spells or any gear. 
weird. You're gonna Oops. have to. <laughs> yes. He, so he came with no armor, no weapons, and no spells. He's a blank slate. All all he has is his qualities, his basics, and his actives, and knowledge base. And that's it, really. Portfolio, uh, character, tools. <sighs> so I'm just trying. I was just trying to give him some things that a magician would need. So uh, does that just straight up heal me five? I'm I'm confused. Okay, so he would have. Huh? Does that straight up heal me five points? Because last win. I'm, I'm actually trying to figure that out. Okay. Um, I don't have the. Okay, so he has conjuring, so it'd be banishing, binding, and summoning. So we need to guy for those. Oh, you picked the talismanger from the core rule books. Yeah. The core rule book. He has gear in the core rule book listed. I should does know. He? Yeah, he. Um, I I I actually used a uh, uh, an example character when I first started playing this game. Well, let's see. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. And this one doesn't. None of these have gear. They say they're supposed to have gear. Yeah, knocked unconscious. Man, I fucking love One Piece. It's the best. One Piece is so good, guys. If you ever want something to just sink your time and do, watch One Piece. Okay, yeah, he does have some foci on him. Foci are valuable. Uh huh. He has a banishing, a binding, and a summoning foci. Wait, are we mugging the mage? No, no. we're looking for collateral for the job until he can pay. Okay. Us. So. Um. Okay, you said he had a uh, what? What foci? Uh, he had a banishing foci, a binding foci, and a summoning foci. Ratings on all those? Okay. Yeah. What's the rating? Uh, they're all at two. Banishing, summoning, and what? Well, you know, any one of those would be sufficient collateral. Yeah. Any one of them. Okay. Uh, what was his third foci? Banishing, summoning, and what? Uh, Banishing, binding, and summoning, I think. Binding. Okay, so Jackie. Yes. As you rest, you're going to... Um, so I have just added plus uh, five dice... To a uh, healing test, you're gonna make. I'm gonna make. Yes. How do I make that? All right, you're gonna you're gonna make a body. So whatever your body is, and then times it by two. Okay. Okay, hold on. Remember, my computer restarted, so I have to open up the program again. <sighs> yeah, it does suck. You know, I love this. Every time Brett uses like a, a pre-made character, it's like this blank slate doesn't have anything, and we're like, "Hey, what's the gear on him?" <laughs> well, the, thing, fuck. the thing is, though, the other people you fought do have gear. Yeah, and I've already figured out exactly how much loot we all get from it. Nice. Yeah, just apparently all the talismongers. I loaded up all four of them that I had in my database. None of them had gear. Huh. But they're probably meant to be used as contacts more than anything. Yeah, talismongers are generally contacts. But I already got a contact for that. Where is the... Um... Oh yeah, they are contacts, aren't they? They're not... Um... Okay, so my body is 5. So, now you're going to do 10. Okay. So, roll so I'm ten rolling 10? Roll 10 dice. He also has a, a light pistol. Which was 
That's not really worth <laughs> a whole lot. Considering how fast he was running, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Okay, congratulations. Right now, you have healed four boxes. Okay. Now, you do another rest period. Okay. Wait, isn't rest period like a big chunk of time? Um, this is the first rest period because it's it's only it's only um oh it's a day. Okay, so for That's today, for today, you so basically I'm gonna be healing four over the over the day. Yes, pretty much. Okay. So as you rest, you're gonna do, you're gonna, you're gonna heal up five, uh, four. Then tomorrow you do another test. Also, at some point, Magic Blue will be able to heal you further. Nope. No? I thought after a certain number of hours you could do it again. Nope. For Magic, you can only attempt to heal one set of wounds any one time. Oh. So if uh, Zohar takes more damage later, then I can try to heal that damage, but it won't count for the damage Zohar has already taken that I tried to heal. Oh, okay. It's okay. I'm down to. I'll be during this period of healing. I'll be down to um three. So three out of twelve. That's not bad. That's make it so I, I most likely won't get completely murdered instantly. Yeah. This is um. By the way, this is um. If you want to read up on this, 252 in the book. I'm not even sure if I have the book. Which means in my book, it's probably more like 231. Uh, 255 if you're using a PDF. Oh, you have a physical book. Never mind. Yeah, I have the non-anniversary have edition book. Yeah, he has the original one without any of the errata or anything. Yeah, which makes everything I read in it suspect, but, you know, what are you going to do? Probably not too far off. Alright, I said something in uh, map tools to the guy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um. Hey. He kind of looks down at the, the book guy on his neck and he goes, uh, <coughs> um, uh, okay, I, 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 I guess, um, I, I guess we can do that. All right, we'll grab the foci from him. Um, all right, he gives you the uh, banishing one, so that's uh, 10,000 yen collateral. That's the cheapest one there. That's fine. That's twice what he owes us right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit him with a healing spell and then uh, let Iron Bite finish off whatever's left with first aid. First aid doesn't work immediately, though. Apparently, it takes force of like a day. Yeah, it takes a while. That's why I'm going to hit him with the magic first. This magic just takes a number of rounds. Um, and while I'm doing this, we should. Uh, uh, Get in the van and fuck off. Yeah, get in the vans and well, I'm gonna have it dri drive itself because. So we got our. So he owes us five thousand for saving him. Mm. Red. Right. Yeah, where are you going to? Take him. Um... Vegas or bust? <laughs> I don't want to go to Vegas. They actually Vegas would be gone by now, wouldn't it? Probably a while ago, yeah. Hmm. Where to take him? Well, um. Well, he uh, he gives you an address of where he was going to go. It's uh, so what that heals what five boxes on him? Five boxes of physical damage. I think whenever you hear heal physical, you heal you heal stun too. Sure. Oh, yeah. Sure. Stop doing that. 
Does I it, think so. Does it heal okay. both or just one than the other? Can't have it. Um. Okay, hold on a second. I'm at the healing section. Heal repairs physical injuries. I don't have the errata version of the book. So on my book, it heals. It'll heal five uh, physical damage. Oh, I think all he has is physical. Magical oh. healing. The, hold on. The heal spell. Um. No, it can just... be used for. Uh, note that sorcery heal. Result. Uh, sorcery. Okay, so page two hundred eight. Hold on a second. Two zero eight. Okay, heal. Let me look at heal itself. Uh, okay, it heals a number of boxes of physical damage. Uh, to okay, um, hits. To reduce the base time for the spell to become permanent. Each hit spent this way shaves off one combat turn. Okay. Okay, it does not say anything about um, stun. Physical it is. Alright. Alright, uh, and then me. Here's the med kit. Alright, so whatever his body is, times that by two, and then... Now, unfortunately, though... So I roll, his, got... I roll his body times two? Actually, to... Um, Alright, that's for physical damage. For stun damage, it's make a body plus, wo plus willpower extended test uh, for one hour. Alright. Uh, well, he only has physical, so stun doesn't matter right now. No, he does have some stun. No, 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 no. It I does. You just said he didn't. Yeah, he, he does. does. He's got four. I, he, he got punched. Stun has to get ri has to um has to be healed first. Okay. So he's got to be he's got to um so make up so for this hour, make a body plus willpower test. Okay, now here's a question though. Do his minuses apply? I don't know. I assume. I, I don't think it really would make sense for that to apply on heal checks. Yeah, I don't think it does either. Alright, do not. I don't know though. <sighs> okay, so he just got rid of, for this hour, he just got rid of two. Done. So he'll show up a little bit bruised, but a lot better than he was looking. Yeah. Anyways, so when you when you get to the physical, um, w once you're done with the stun, and you get to physical, mm -hmm. you get to add, so you do your body times two plus two. All right. So make a note of that. Oh, what does it matter? He's an NPC, anyways. <laughs> uh, so Las Vegas does still exist. It's part of the. Pueblo Corporate Council. Oh, really? Yes. No, Brett, you gotta get rid of stun before you can get into physical. Oh. Shit, really? Yeah, that's how it works. What? I don't think that's... Well, I don't know. That's what I just read. For uh, physical, or for first aid healing, not for magical healing. Yeah, for mag magical healing, just you know, says well, screw you, stun. But stun um, healing up normally, you've got to um, get rid of the stun before you can do physical. It's so weird. I know. How the fuck? Well, he, he, he still has some lacerations on him, but uh, most of his uh, his most of your injuries have been healed and closed <laughs> up, so he's no longer in danger of dying. That's all that matters. So tell us where we're going. Alright. Um, he gives you an address to a. Uh, um, he gives you an address to a bar. He says, Yeah, my boss is meeting me here. Um, look, uh, I don't know. Do you guys have any problems with the, uh, uh, with with the triads at all? Uh, well, we did have that one thing. <laughs> nobody knows about. Nobody knows it was us, though. <laughs> uh, aside from that one thing, no, we're fine. Yeah. 
<laughs> as far as we know, none of no information about it got out, right? Uh, um, yeah, because he erased thing, everything. Yeah, the only thing he did involving the triads was the uh, warehouse hit. Uh, kind of slaughtered everybody. Uh, no, no, the Yakuza was the brothel. Don't forget that. Oh, okay, it was the, okay, like the first shadow run we fucked with the triads, though, didn't we? It was one of your earlier, yeah, it was one of your early runs you, you messed with the triad. That was the, uh, one you did where you took out a, uh, we had to pick up something off of a, uh, truck that was sitting at a warehouse. Oh, yeah, no, oh, that yeah. was us. Anywho, uh, so yeah, I think the only people who are actually part of that run who are in the group currently are, um... Zohar. And, um, Nick. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically Nier was there, but she was a totally different character, so... And, um, to be fair, nobody saw Nick because Nick was in, was in the van. And if any, and nobody saw Zohar because... Zohar. Zohar. So... Yeah. I don't think we left any survivors, so... No, no, we didn't kill anybody either, so... <laughs> Anyway, uh, while you guys have been doing this, though, you do hear the sounds of sirens closing in on your position. I thought we were already, like, leaving. We got in the car, we asked them where we were going, and then we started driving. Yeah. My understanding is this conversation is happening after that. Oh. Yeah. We had declared that earlier. Yeah, we got in the vans and drove. Alright. And by, uh, and that means, you know, I'm, I'm technically not in my van. I thought you said your van was driving itself. It is. Actually, I'm driving it, but I'm not in it. I'm just going. That sounds like the opposite of talking on your cell phone while driving a car. Yeah, I've, I've I, I, yeah. It's, it's like driving of... a car when you're talking. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like talking on your car while you're driving. Your conversation. You, you see, Nick is sitting, is sitting, uh, sitting in near near his van. His hands are up like he's actually driving a steering wheel. His van is like fifty meters back. <laughs> Good job, Nira. Realistically, there's no reason for me to roll for any of that because security cameras are fucking pathetic. Oh, God. This is either going to be really funny or we're screwed. Open up the side and make that jump off here. You don't have traction on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Magic, I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. You're already in the running for extra karma. For, uh, vo uh, for an extra karma vote. <laughs> yeah. Just, just so you know, I, I, will, I will vote you because um, twice now. Oh, by the way, Eye in the Sky is um, following oh, me now. I would imagine. <laughs> at its slow, slow, slow speed. Mm. 
Okay, he is. He's only got an airspeed of 25 meters. Magic dealer. What? The 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 typing. What do you mean? It's so loud. Really? Wait, is that you or is that uh, Sylvia? I'm not typing right now. Okay, I will start typing. Tell me if this is loud. Yep. Yeah. Very loud. Really? Huh? Damn it! Tap tap tap. It's like you're taking a dancing or something. Get it? Tap dancing? Ha! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, something is afoot. Ha! 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 So we take this guy to a bar to meet boss. Uh, yeah, hold on. Shit. In triad no, territory. I do that. Hold on, I'm, I'm looking for something. Hold on. Oh, come on, Roman. No response to that. Come on. I do like Tim, that. what the fuck is that? That's so... What? That's, uh... That's, uh... That's a Marge Simpson quote. That was when she oh. was trying to write a book. She wrote, swim, 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 thought the whale, as she flopped her flippers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I missed something. It always makes me think that when people are typing really hard, and I don't know. <laughs> it's probably just a personal thing. <laughs> so cute, though. Maybe in the uh, Simpsons episode, she was typing really hard. I don't know why, but I always See, connect. Right. connect I read. Things. I read thought wrong, and I read it as through. Oh. So I thought swim, swim, swim through the whale as she flopped her flopper. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> See, that's really funny because I read it the exact same way as you, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> but so I thought like, why are you swim? swimming through a whale? That's fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. It's it's a it's such an inside joke that I'm the only one that gets it. It's cute. I actually was, but I thought it was really creepy before I figured it out. And by the way, you had to I, tell I me. That's it. How I, I didn't go back it out. and read it until Jackie brought it, said it. I just ran with it. I'm just like, yep. Yeah, it seems like something Tim would say. <laughs> okay. So you know, all everything I say makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, you're reading it wrong. <laughs> Okay, so you guys know um, there was a Japanese Spider-Man show, right? Yes. Nope. Okay. So back in the 1970s, there was a Japanese uh, Spider-Man show. First I heard of it. Okay. Um, uh, it was in the 70s. Yeah, it was, oh. 78. Um, one of the episodes is called Riddle. Calling the Riddle of My Secret Birth. And it just reminded me of how insane... That's such a Japanese title card. Yeah, Holy the, ja shit. the Japanese title cards are. So I've just been going through tons of One Piece lately, so I'm just thinking of the One Piece title cards going like, yeah, no, that makes that, that's exactly what Japan would call one of their episodes. Yeah. Also, Spider-Man had a mecha for some reason. And, and the car. <laughs> Why yes. would it be? It was... Why not? And was featured in a Spider-Man. Well, in 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 when sp when the multiverse Spider-Men were being hunted down, and killed, and eaten. Huh. Comics are weird. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, they are weird. Okay. Okay. So if you guys want to go over to the uh uh. Zhao Hisu Si Sheshuan restaurant. I'm like. Nah. I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna go ahead and stay in the van because I was fairly noticeably there when we fucked with them last time. And go ahead and stay in the van. Where are we coming in through? Oh, What's by the that? way, um, wait a second here. What 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 map are we on? I don't think it matters. Just the Chinese Chess One Restaurant. No. Oh, here. Okay. Back door. That's. The... All right. So parking lot is up here. So that doesn't make any sense. So the main the main entrance right here. Where? Where'd right you here. say? Says, Where why is the parking lot on the other side of the building then? Oh, welcome to the city. Parking lots don't make sense. Damn it, JDL Design, you had one goddamn job. Battered <laughs> half wall? Why is there a battered half wall? Why is it battered? Because apparently this place is run down. Look I at the name. I remember this map. We've been here before. Yeah. Yeah. Really, yeah. <laughs> Same map, different name. <laughs> okay, well, I'm parking in the front because fuck you guys. I'm going to park, park right behind you. You're so van. Because I only have so many maps to use, so I have to recycle you. them. Same thing with tokens. Yeah. We feed him. I'm in my van configuration. Yes. You're so vain. You. I just want to point out that we're going into this Why restaurant. Do you need to top. Still wearing my owl costume. I just wanted a hug. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, hey. like this utility belt. Um, you, you get stopped at the main door. I should probably go to the gym. Yeah, go pump some iron in there, Tom. Uh, you know. Everybody says, yeah, go pump some, pump some iron in there, Tom. You, you get stopped at the main door and with the. Uh, Doorman's gonna stand there and uh, uh, says to you, uh, Sir, we have a strict dress code here. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, I, well, actually, and and Sir, we, well, actually, no, no, no. Sir, we, we, we don't mean to have a strict dress code here, but you violate every single part of it, so. Somehow you do. <laughs> oh my god, I could see it too. <laughs> oh, I can too. I can too. Oh hold on, god. hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see. Mm. Oh my god. I'm not sure if I sh should roll etiquette, negotiation, or leadership. Um, <laughs> etiquette. <laughs> I was thinking etiquette too. Mm. Or whatever. You <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. This is Night Owl's Roost. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? Uh, yeah, he's not going to really be able to beat that. Um, That's acceptable. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, he's just a doorman, so... I'm just a doorman. So he's like, um... Hold on, hold on. This is the text that goes along with the, the role, because I'm totally great at bullshitting. Could you at least take the mask off? Yes, fella. 
Okay. Uh, give me just one second. I need to to check on something, but I will say this: underneath the mask, same as the actual night owl, is a second mask. <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, like he's gone. Oh shit! <laughs> I know you're about to say something. Yeah, like yeah. Wanted and- to stop you. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Okay, now say what he he, he, he kind of looks at you and goes, "That one too." All right, uh, I will take you that one off. You don't have a third one. And underneath that one, it's not a mask; it's actually face paint. <laughs> All right, that'll do. Because that's what the, because that's what the, from what I recall, that's what the night owl guy had. No. Pretty sure he had face paint on under there. I'm pretty sure he didn't, but... He, he goes, good enough, sir. Good enough. Uh, I gotta see. <sighs> Did you send me the link? No, I'm looking at a picture. <laughs> Tim, I fucking love you. Hmm. I see goggles and a mask. Yeah, well, I'll buy it. I'm just accepting it on the premise of, eh, it's Roman. Yeah. I'm not going into the restaurant anyways, so. Alright, so. Um. You sound Rorschach. <laughs> yeah. He he would go kind of he would go kind of psycho. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, but... oh, okay, so um, your uh, companion. Tells you, that's it. Look, my, my boss is near the back, so we can go in and speak to her, alright? Alright, so he starts to walk on in. So, are you guys going to follow him? Just got, really, just got really quiet. No one's talking, so... Yeah, it did. I think we just hit a quiet period. Yeah, I think they're following him. Yeah. I'm waiting in the van, so... He, he sits down. There's a... I finally addressed Asian woman, uh, Chinese descent, sitting over there as well. Uh, she looks up as and she goes, "Ah, Brent, I, it is good to see you made it. Who are these?" Um, she looks up at you and goes, "Who are these uh, gentlemen who came in with you?" That didn't sound suspicious at all. Oh, it's good to see you made it. Man, at which point she, he uh, weighs her and says, Hi, Moy, ran into some uh, trouble with the uh, with the cargo. 
You don't say. <laughs> I'm really, really. I'm. I I thought things were swimmingly, considering that you're covered in blood. <laughs> it's his. <Yeah>. Sarcasm. <laughs> Ah, uh, I love being me. Yeah, you seem like the least suspicious people ever. One walks by you. Or I. Do you try to flag her down? I think Rai wants a beer. Mm -hmm. Just one? Holy shit. Oh, well, he's gonna start with one, then work his way through the entire uh, beer tap. Whiskey, quick. Um, she, okay. All right, she just nods and says, "Yes, sir," and goes off to get your order. Whiskey. Um. <clears throat> so um. So, of course, she looks very quizzingly at Roman. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. In his Owlman suit, wearing face paint. <laughs> and looks looks back at Brynn and goes, You have a tendency of, of getting those queer individuals with you, don't you? <sighs> and Brynn... Uh, it just goes, eh. When when you're when you're dying, you can't be too choosy. You weren't dying. <laughs> he was pretty no, close. He's pretty close. Yeah, he, was close. Close. <laughs> he was gonna be dying. And we're all like, I was pretty close. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't like he was actually dying. He still had a hitbox to go. <laughs> One solid whole hitbox. That's yeah. enough to keep going. Yeah, for a few feet. I I. I like to play it for dramatic flair, you know? We noticed. So, Roman, or is anyone going to say anything at this point? You all this money, folk. I'm not in there, I say nothing. Was there a question for us? I didn't catch one. I assumed at some point you would interject. Yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting to get paid. To as queer folk. Okay. Well, um, Britt reaches into his, uh, jacket and pulls out a, uh, a, uh, data chip and passes it over. Says, <clears throat> says, that's what I got for you. Um, these guys are also wanting, um, to be reimbursed for their services. And he goes, oh, really? And how much do you want for your good service? I demand twelve bazillion doubloons. Which will equal to ten. Will, will equal to five thousand new yen. Of course, she uh, also hands a crit stick over to Brit. <laughs> mm. And all payment in doubloons. 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 I love doubloons. Hmm. I see. Well, the, clearly this arrangement is between you and Brit, so I s don't see any reason why I need to get involved in it. Which could, Brent just kind of, his jaw kind of drops like, but, but, you only paid me six for that job. Oh good, he gets a thousand. Well, which she just goes, that's the cost of incompetence, Brent. 
Next time you should be more careful. Mm. Or maybe we should hire these good folks behind you to do the job next time. Please. We, we could do courier work. What? <laughs> At which, point, at which point she raises eyebrows and says, Indeed, good help is so hard to find nowadays. We can talk about that later. Brent, could you, um, Brent, could you go ahead and clear whatever transaction you have to do with these gentlemen? And then, then you can leave. <laughs> he looks very, he looks very dejected right now. Considering he just made a thousand new yen on this job, yeah. He almost died, only got yeah. a thousand dollars. <laughs> Look, Ma, I almost died, only got, oh. <laughs> only got was a thousand dollars. Literally, uh, literally <laughs> poor. Uh, anyway, Rye, uh, the waitress comes back with a uh, with a nice glass of uh, whiskey for you. Wait, this place has real whiskey? It's no, no. Yeah. No, I didn't expect that either. Whiskey flavored alcohol. <laughs> it's it, it it's uh you know it it's synthetic whiskey. My Interestingly, for me, magic dealer, most in, whiskey is whiskey flavored alcohol. <laughs> Interestingly, it's thirty percent uh, of the same chemicals you use in Coca Cola. I mean, actually, really, <laughs> making alcohol isn't isn't that hard. So it is when you yeah. don't got corn. Uh, well, you can make alcohol out of anything. Any yeah. organic matter can become alcohol. Bourbon, <laughs> just as long as it has sugar. Even in. soy, or because starch. I mean, in in yeah. Japan and China, they make they make wine out of soy. Well, no, and <laughs> and rice, and rice too. Yeah, but soy also. Yeah, rice wine is much more common, but they make it out of soy, also. Well, so, apparently this awesome Korean guy I work with is taking this so all up. So basically, it's, it's some drink I can't pronounce. The, 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 the real, the real problem though, when it comes to whiskey, is aging it in oak barrels because oak is oak, and it's hard to get come by now. Right, right. Yeah, so I, I imagine real whiskey is probably hard to come by. So yeah. basically, what you have is uh, diluted straight alcohol that's been flavored and colored. Right. Just right. like most whiskey you get today. Yeah. Isn't that a bummer? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's probably even worse than that, but yeah. <sighs> I like my American honey. So, um... That's what I drink. Yeah, so, well, all uh, the Brit, uh, Brit goes ahead and, uh... clears his transaction with you. And says, um, can I have my fo focus back, please, sir? So he does actually pay us. Yeah, he does. I mean... It's, it's either piss off the triad or piss you off. You know, he's kind of between a rock and a hard place. Uh, and we're right there. Yeah. <laughs> and she's right there. And her men her men are nearby and armed, so... Sucks to be bred. Yeah. He's the final villain. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> God, I hope not. It'll be easy to take down. Yeah, I think he's going to go off to his fortress and get started. That's so nice. <laughs> All right, and he he says, um, oh, he says, yeah, okay, sure. And he hands he passes you his contact info, and he walks out the back. back. He walks out the back door, 
he he mutters something under his breath about you know, you know so, something really derogatory about about uh, about Moy. <laughs> yeah, figured he would. The idiot. All right. And um, Moy looks over at you, Roman, and says, "Would you care to have a seat?" Can you sit down in that getup? <laughs> like, actually, wait a minute. Let me back up a second. Why are you dressed like that? <laughs> I mean, I've I've seen people wear some weird things in my time, but <laughs> but dressing up as an owl. Okay, no, I so no, I suppose I've seen some weirder things. Yeah. Weird though. Uh, huh. <laughs> uh, I'll sit down. It's it's uh it's like the costume looks like um kind of like Batman only an owl. Yeah. That's what Night Owl's costume looks like, so I can totally sit in it. Owl man. All right, so um, all right. So you uh, you helped out Brit there with a little bit of trouble. Hmm. So it seems you guys are quite capable of handling of handling uh, intense situations. Is that correct? I'm totally not gonna say anything about all the Yakuza we killed. Just, <laughs> just flashing through my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Yakuza thing was bad. Thing. Was ah, cool. Bjorn, you piece of shit! Get off my headphones. They in terms of Yakuza, they probably would be clapping for you. Yakuza yeah. and triads do not get along. No, they don't. In fact, yeah. Um, any, any, um. Trouble that comes to the Yakuza, the triads would be like going, "Okay, we need to buy these guys a beer." So you know, it's the difference between being Chinese and Japanese. These guys are Chinese. Yep. We're still not gonna tell them though. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um. <laughs> we tell no one. We take it to the grave. <clears throat> May I? Perhaps I do. She uh, takes the data chip that Britt handed him, handed her, and puts it into a PDA and starts and starts looking it over. Com unit, com, a com link. Yeah, whatever. And starts and starts looking over its contents and goes, "Hmm, that is most interesting indeed." Yes. I didn't realize they were into that. Hmm. Oh my, this is getting a little weird. So. We might, I might indeed have a job for you, as a matter of fact. However, give us a couple of days to work out the details. We'll contact you soon. You as well. Um, hopefully, next time we meet, it will be under better circumstances, and you'll be not dressed like a owl. Yeah. <laughs> next time he could be naked and blue. Well, that'll just make a member of the Blue Man Group. Uh. We're not playing in North Carolina. <laughs> really? Let's cancel the show. <laughs> nice. Ah, what's it gonna take, Governor? 
What's it gonna take? Uh, 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 gays and liberals made me do it. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Lab Tech, or Lab Corp, rather, which is, like, the largest employer in North Carolina, is threatening to pull, pull out, so. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This guy is just losing his state money after money. I mean, they're still just threatening. I uh, know. <laughs> their facilities are worth a lot of money, so it would, I don't know if yeah. they'd actually do it, but... You know, actually, Roman, I expect you to, to say no promises. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know how to be professional when it comes to work. You're pretty good at etiquette. You don't want to scare off prospective clients, especially ones that already are under the assumption that you're going to charge them a decent amount and are still considering you. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, uh, if there are no further replies, Roman's going to head back out uh, uh, after tossing a contact number over wirelessly and roll on with the evening. I think there was talk of beer? Yeah, I believe there was talk of beer. I have beer. There is beer waiting for us in the van. Uh we have a pile of money and goods that uh, we can add to our evening for fun. And I do believe that uh, Zohar has mentioned that uh, there may or may not be a Silk Spectre costume coming out. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's true. So it's going to be a, a fun evening no matter what. Okay, so uh, with that I think we'll call it an evening. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a good so, game. I, I've got uh, payouts 